哇哇哇哇哇哇哇哇 ！Hello， hi， 哦、oh, ，Hang on， I might have been a silly Billy. Hang on, hang on. Ah， 哦、oh, ， This is why you guys come to my streams, right? Just for me to make random noises like this, yeah? Excellent, excellent. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yep. 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 Okay. 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 There we go. Sorry. I had my mic weirdly adjusted. Also, man, putting on Dongan Rampa music for this is giving me hella, hella nostalgia right now. Oh my god. But before we get into that, hello, 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 everyone! Is I Ibid, your favorite femboy chicken thingy VTuber? What's up? What's up? What's up? Ah! Oh, is Cassie in the room? I don't know if she's in the room, but I'm gonna go close my door. That way, I'm not a loud whore. Even though I'm naturally a loud whore. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Sunday. I know I am because I am here. <laughs> I got pizza as a treat. Gonna have some brownies a little bit later after I let my little tum tum settle, and I'm so excited. <laughs> but not as excited as I am to be spending the evening with you guys and to be playing uh, Master Detective Chronicles or Master Detective Archives Rain Code. Let's go. A new detective game from the creators of Dong and Rampa and oh boy, if you've seen any promo images from this, this is definitely looking like a Dong and Rampa title. Uh sh it's not though, it's its own thing and I'm very excited because I am I I'd still say I'm a pretty big fan of Dog and Rampa. I was a big Dog and Rampa fan back when I first discovered the series, and I'm such a slut for the mystery genre, so of course I fell in love. So when I found out they're making a new title, separated from Dog and Rampa canon, but still involving mysteries, murder, intrigued, of course I had to come to the conclusion of this game needs to be in my collection. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, I'm very excited. I know, I know. Vinny would be giving me all the shit in the world right now that I'm starting another goddamn game without finishing anything on my channel. But I do not care. I've been waiting long enough, and today's a Sunday, so I can stream for a long time, get a good chunk of story in. Because I actually don't know how long this game is supposed to be. Danganronpa games are pretty long, because you usually kiss all the world building, but this game is in... 3D for the most part? Like, 3, 3D graphics, not visual novel style, so it might not be as much text, for all I know. I know, like I said, I know very little about this game. Uh, I will be putting up a spoiler warning. Uh, basically warning, hey, don't fucking spoil the game for me, or you will be banned from my chat. That will happen. It will happen. And I'll be very upset. You don't want to make your femboy angry now, do you? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Hmm. Also, I look, I fucking look at my model from time to time. Every time I open up this model specifically, I was thinking like, man, I really look like I belong in Danganronpa. I look like some sort of, I honestly, I look like I belong in the weeb club. The weeb club of, uh, the ultimate weeb. There we go. Yeah. Oh man. Especially because a lot of VTubers have like the Danganronpa pose when they first load up. It's true. You rather look like, uh. A Danganronpa character? Or what is it? What is it? Oh, I forget what the other one is. There was a meme where like each VTuber is posed like Danganronpa character or someone else. Also, hello Taffy! Welcome on in! Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday! This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! We have Taffy in the house, y'all! Mm hmm. Howdy, what's up, what's up, what's up? We're just doing our little chit chats before we get around to the game! Why'd I see Nugget with big boobers? Because chicken nuggies can have the biggest chicken breasticles around. Mm hmm. I mean, you see chicken breasts on the menu from time to time. Where do you think those come from? The breasts of chicken. 
Okay. Although in my case, it usually goes straight to my ass. So a lot of people eat chicken ass. I'm good, you? I'm doing good. I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing pretty good, I'd say. I say, I say, mm hmm, mm hmm. Well, I got my tea. I'm full of pizza. So yeah, I can't really complain. Can't complain too much. Mm hmm. What about you? Did you have anything fun happen this weekend? Anything fun and exciting? Because I mainly just worked. So, uh, I don't have too many things going on. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm also still a little bit of a sleepy guy. Man, I slept in a lot. I slept in a lot. Oh, man, my body was exhausted when I got home. I, I spent too much time on my feet, you know? I didn't have much chance, to, I didn't have much time to just sit down and relax, lay my weary head to rest. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Ugh. Also, is Cassie in my room? No, I don't think so, okay. Hmm. Ugh. I also feel like a thirsty bitch today, so I'm pausing to drink a lot of water. That's why. I gotta keep myself hydrated. Gotta keep my chicken and nuggety skin looking fresh and crisp with hydration. Hydration, no breathing. Don't give a fuck if you're live or breathing. Man, 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 man. Mm hmm. Oh, man. You know what game I wanna play, though, eventually on stream? The Sims. I feel like that'd be a fun time. Recreating my VTuber pals in The Sims. Seeing what shenanigans they get into, romances, heartache, murder they would get involved in. Seeing what the Sim, how the Sims world would treat us. <gasps> A VTuber house in the Sims! Ayo! VTuber house, VTuber house, VTuber house! I gotta go, but I'll try to be back later. Oh, no worries, Taffy! Enjoy your number five look! Ma! Enjoy! <laughs> oh my god. You know, you know, uh, fucking channels like offline TV make streamer houses seem like a lot of fun. But I don't know, man. The fact that, uh, that you have to, like, always be ready to be on camera. That sounds like too much. Like, I, honestly, if I was in a streamer house like that, whenever I want it to be clear, I don't want me on camera, I would just put myself in, like, a blanket gremlin-like cocoon. Slowly creep open the door and basically, like, Aizawa crawl my way across the room into the kitchen. Uh, and freaking just collect my snacks and leave. Then again, I feel like that'd be good streamer content, so of course I'd probably get filmed. Ha. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, I Dragon Rampa is one of those game series that I wish I could play again without knowing the plot. The only way I could see myself streaming Dragon Rampa is if I'm playing it with someone who doesn't know any of it yet. Meaning, like I do whatever they want me to do as like control wise, but they pick all the decisions blind and that would be a fun experience oh i wonder if key i wonder if that wonderful tanuki's played dong and rampa i'll have to ask her because mm -hmm. i think vinny knows uh i think vinny knows dong and rampa because they're a weeb if, if not the games i'm sure they know the anime i'm willing to put money on that one Oh my gosh, speaking of other things, nerdy. I caught up on Demon Slayer, the anime I watched season three, and oh my god. It was so good. It was so good. I loved uh, the new Hashiras. Oh, new Hashiras. The Hashiras they focused on. The new season, I love the big twist at the end. Oh, man. 
It was such a good season, and it frustrates me to know we're probably not getting another season for like another two years. Cause like, what? What was it like? It's like a two year gap between Mugen Train and then, or no, no, Entertainment District and then the Swords Village arc. It takes a while to make Demon Slayer. As it should, Euphoria Bowl does good animation. And they work on the Tales series, so of course, they're busy. They got a lot going on. Although, did Euphoria Bowl work on the most recent Tales game? I actually don't know. I do not know. Did they? I think they might have. I wonder, do we already have hints on when the new Demon Slayer season coming, or is it just kind of... Yeah, actually. It'd be season four, right? Yeah, because we, we had three seasons. Wait, no. Huh? Oh wait, is Mugen Train counted as a second season? Cause would it Entertainment District be season two? Uh, I have no idea. We'll have to see. It's I think on anime sites it's counted as season four, the newest season, but technically it's season three, I'd say. But oh well, is what it is. It was so good though, guys. Oh my god. Uh, I like watching anime. I love it. I'm a weeb. It's hard to get me to do it these days, but when I do, it's such a good time. Oh, and Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 just started. Oh, I wanted. To, I wonder if I should wait to binge it all once the season's fully out. Because I feel like that's going to be a hard one to wait week to week. And when the hell is the last episode of Attack on Titan going to come out? I have been waiting patiently with my thumb up my butt, and I am just wanting it so badly at this point it's ridiculous we still haven't gotten it yet i understand animation takes time blah 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 i know i understand but god damn it i just want it so bad <sighs> speaking of wanting it so bad how about the, how about we cut the chit chat a little bit short here today instead of going the full half hour? Why would you jump into the game? Because I want to jump into the game. I don't want to wait too much longer to play the game. The game is speaking to me. It's literally looking me right in the eye and saying, 8-Bit, 8-Bit, play me, please, with your delicate thumbs. And I'm like, oh, you'll get my delicate thumb, all right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so... Why don't we get started then? Here, let me get my Elgato all situated. We're gonna have a chill Sunday mystery, y'all. All right. Oh! I didn't realize I was over there. Okay, let me move my beautiful self over here. Yep. The game is ready to go. This game is exclusively on Switch. I don't think there was a PS4 version. Was there? Either way, Switch exclusive. Interesting. I did get the Collector's Edition. It was pretty cool. Which is a big gamble for when you haven't even played the game before, but sometimes it's all about taking risks, baby. Big bucks, big, uh, big bucks, no whammies, and stop. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got myself situated over here. Let me switch monitor screens. Huh? Wait, no? Back. Wait, no? Huh? That's weird. Hang on. Uh, why? Why is it being like this? A 
Okay, that was weird. It was on a different setting, and that was confusing. Hmm. All right, here we go. Also, let me check that my Elgato uh, stuff is correct, because every time I have to load this sucker up, I always have to fix the brightness. Of course, I have to do it again. All right, well, it is what it is. All right. Wait, maybe if I have it be on auto, it'll automatically do it from now on. Wait, no, that, no, interesting, okay. All right, so hopefully that fixes it. Uh, I will adjust as needed, but uh, I think we're pretty much good to go. Ready to rock and roll, baby. Oh wait, let me change the stream title and stuff. All right. Oh wait, nope, that is the wrong thing. Also, slash pin. All right, that'll be a pin message. No spoilies, or you get the ban hammer, chat. That music out of here. Get the desktop audio muted because we're going to be relying on El Gato, baby. Which, oh, no, there it is. All right. Oh, I burped. Broadcast gameplay footage is titled that software and lens holder express and consent, including streaming via internet, downloading and streaming. Huh? Oh. Oh, it's so cute! All right, auto save. That's good to know. Also, let me make myself a little bit smaller. Wait, drop frames? What? Already? Why? Mm. Say this is a Switch game. Like, come on now. Ooh, music. This already feels very Dog and Rampa esque. Oh, I, that's interesting picture there. Uh, I wonder where I should be at for this. Should be on the right or left side. There's new game in Nintendo eShop, so we'll just start a new game here. We'll figure it out as we go, chat. Don't worry about a thing. <gasps> the book. Okay, this feels like I'm in Luigi's Mansion right now. Like, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon kind of vibe. Mm. Oh, look! A human! It's been a while. <laughs> I'm not human, I'm a VTuber. I nearly slept through the whole thing. Let's see. Alright, there's something I have to do first. Okay, human, listen up. First, I'll have you select your difficulty. Choose wisely. Complain about it later, and I'll boom kill ya. Oh. Now then, display the option. They're probably gonna kill me, because <laughs> I'm gonna complain about it. Lenient, troublesome, mean, adorable? Huh? Uh... What 
the fuck does that mean? Okay, uh, what div- Okay, so, is adorable easy or lenient easy? What does that mean? Also, hang on, I need to switch monitors for a sec. I need to adjust the audio. Oh, my damn headphones gets too dang quiet. Oh, what do I do? Okay. All right. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I, I... I don't want them to kill me. I'm going to look out what the difficulties mean for it real quick. There we go. Okay, don't do it. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go adorable because I'm adorable. Oh, you sure about that? Don't say I didn't warn you. Huh? Hmm. You wanna know what difficulty that is? Yeah, probably. When you selected. Is how difficult yours truly will be on you. I'll be huh? as difficult with you as you wish. So I hope you're ready. Oh, so you'll be adorable no, to me. To be honest, it's all the same no matter what you pick. Huh? I'm your lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable partner. After all. Oh, okay, so, that's fair. Are you ready? I think so. Do you want to start for real? Yeah. Do you seriously want to start? I just said so. A hundred percent. Oh, pff. Cassie wants to start for real too, cause she wants in my room. All right. Well, come on in, baby. You gotta stick around. We got a game to play. Meow. Okay. 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 Start, yeah, start for real. Ah, guess you're really here for it. Sounds like you're just dying to solve some mysteries. I am! You just can't wait to go on adventures with me, right? I mean, I'd say so. <laughs> Humans are so weird! Well, let's get this started. It's time to embark on my lovely, thrilling, wonderful, mystery-solving adventure. Let's go! Let's go! Haha! -ha! Where'd Cassie go? Oh, come on, baby girl. You're killing me. In Minecraft. Massacre on the Amatru Express. She's just meowing for my attention. She has all the food and water she wants. Oh. 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 Well, you can't see. I was gonna say there's a there's uh, the main character on the ground. Wait, did I die? Whoa! What's going on? W wait. Huh? Where am I? Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> uh, Cassie. Who? What? <sighs> oh, we can't hear the ghost. Okay. Congrats, you're a Dong and Rampa character. You have the classic Ahoge. Oh, our shoes are shiny. Oh, okay. So they'll be on the left side. Okay, we might be good then. Huh? Huh? Why? How? Huh? It's okay, man. 
Uh, we all wake up in a Hope's Peak Academy killing game situation from time to time. I can't remember anything. Does that mean... Do I have... What was it called? Amnesia? Man, the creator really loves the amnesia trope. Uh, all right, calm down. Take a deep breath. <gasps> oh, there it goes. Maybe another one to help? Mm. Dang it! I can't remember anything! Where am I? Who am I? Why can't I remember? Is the voice volume low to anyone else or is it just me? Inside your pocket. Huh? Check your belongings. <laughs> Who's there? Am I? Hearing things too? I lost my memories and now I'm hearing things. What's going on? Ow! Oh, my controller vibrated. Oh, what now? I can't catch a break. Hmm. Check my belongings. Huh. An envelope. Oh, hey, egg roll. Oh, right, hi, Debbie. Hello, dog. On my last 24 hour push to get my coursework done, so doing the big lurk. You enjoy your big lurk and. Oh, yeah, gosh. I wish you luck with all you're doing on your coursework. You got this. Mm hmm. Mwah! Also, hi, A Girl. How's it going? Hope you had a fantastic day. Oh. Notice World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Yuma Coco Head. You are hereby dispatched <laughs> to the special autonomous zone of Kanai Ward. Coco Head is his last name? Really? I'm sorry. That just sounded so out of place. Yoma Coco Head. Oh my god. Oh. He might. Last name like that must get bullied. Coco Head. Hey, Coco Head, come here. Gotta crack open your head like a coconut. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Femboy, so are you LGBT? I am a BLT sandwich, yes. I am pansexual. Mm -hmm. Why are you asking? Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency World Detective Organization. Kanai Ward branch. There you will receive further instructions. Hmm. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. That's crazy. This whole time I thought you were M I N E. Aw, snap, egg roll. Damn. I turn you by. You're trying to hit me with the Riz all the time. You better be careful. That might just work. You must. Coco Head? That's my name? Think Don't wear it out, Coco Head. I guess that sounds right. That's right. I finally remember. My name is Yuma. I'm Yuma Coco Head. <laughs> this. Uh, wait a minute. I'm Yuma Coco Head? That sounds like he's a cuckoo head. Like he's crazy. Oh my god. That has to be on purpose. <laughs> Oh no! I've gone insane! I'm playing as the Joker of this game! But what's this about a world detective organization? Damn. Okay, I was hoping the. Because I feel like the voice volume is so goddamn low compared to the rest of the game. I want to adjust it. Don't <laughs> you with a good time? Ayo. Ayo. It sounds significant. Am I a part of it? If that's the case, am I a detective? Hell yeah, you are. You got the Ahe go A to prove it. I guess these kind of look like a detective's clothes. I mean, besides the neon shoes, yeah. It seems I was supposed to get on a train. 
Or at least, I think so. Master detectives? Am I one of them? Could there be someone who knows me on the train? Here's the ticket, and let's check the schedule. Hey, it's almost time! It's almost time to did it did it did it did it I should get on that train. I'll find out more about myself if I meet someone who knows me. I don't know. They might just say they're cuckoo. Oh, ah, there's a cute little ghost of you behind me. Before I have the train, let's start with basic controls. Walk around and explore the room. Oh, yeah, I recommend moving the... Okay. Oh, yeah, I recommend moving the camera around and explore the surroundings. Place with an examination marker can be expected. Make sure to investigate areas of interest. You skip forward and auto advance through dialogue. Cinematics can be skipped. Gotta stay in that detective mindset. Cassie. What is up with you today? It's like she knows I'm not supposed to be home right now, and yet she's like just meowing up a storm. You have food in your bowl. I've been mean, giving you pets every time you come near me. What is it, baby girl? There you go. She's being a silly old girl. Detective points DP can be earned by conducting detective activities like investigation and gathering info. Sure hope you got all that down. Earning DP. <laughs> Like, it increases the detective rank. Maybe something cool will happen when the rank goes up. Don't you forget. Mini market next objective. Okay, yep, yeah, that's pretty self explanatory. I mean, dress as a detective, maybe. I mean, the shorts are a little much. Okay. Ah, oh, man, still can't access a. Oh, nope, still can't access a main menu. Okay. Is the game audio been good for you guys? Like, is the voices volume too low? Or is it or is it just my headphones that need to be adjusted every damn time? So I'm trying turning them up one more time. Uh, okay, there we go. Should be able to adjust my headphones now. Okay, this might be too loud for me now, but we'll see. It's really the game is real fucking quiet. Uh, okay. All right, this might be good. Oh, they made to do that. All right, let's see here. I see myself. I'm still not used to this. Here, I'm gonna adjust the audio just a smidge to an OBS. Just in case. There we go. Uh. Oh shit, where'd it go? I wanna... uh. ah! Alright. <sighs> That's my reflection in the mirror! I still don't recognize myself. Poor, <laughs> poor lad. This is... There's a cardboard box here. I can peek inside through the hole. But it's too dark to make out anything. There's a hole in the wall where that man can see it all. Hmm. There's something in the back, but I can't get through with all the things in the way. Stuff might fall if I try to move it. Better not go back there. Coward! Why are there so many umbrellas? <gasps> the label reads, Lost Items Temporary Storage. Cause the Umbrella Corporation, they're on board! Shit, the next mystery is it gonna be solving how the biohazard happened! Bags, hats, and books. A lot of stuff has been placed here. All right. Ooh, that's a cute toy robot. Reminds me of uh, Mr. Navin for Digimon Cyber Sleuth. A toy robot? Oh, a little that's like Baymax. Sturdy. The label says lost items. Skill pat memory cap. Okay, so is that everything in this room? I think that's everything in this room. I get it. 
The place where I was sleeping was in fact a closet. The pawn shop. Yeah, totally the pawn shop. That's right. I've been sleeping in a station's lost and found section. Cause you're lost and soon to be found. But why was I sleeping here? Did I faint or was I attacked? If so, then who did it? Attention passengers departing this station direct to Kanai board on the Amaterasu Express. Please board immediately. The train will depart soon. Uh, I have to get on that train. I better hurry. Better get on that hype train, yo. Now the audio seems decently loud to match my headphones. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh man, the NPCs. NPCs look like they belong from GameCube. Holy crap. Oh man, the NPC uh, graphics aren't that great. Oh, made it in time. Time after time. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. Our train utilizes Amaterasu Corporation's state-of-the-art technology for an automated, safe, and comfortable service. Hmm. There is no crew aboard the train. Thank you for your understanding and support. Oh, that makes it convenient for murder. Automatic? So nobody's driving this thing. This train has five cars. It will operate non-stop to its destination. Food and beverages are available in car two. Restrooms are available in car one and car five. These are gonna be important facts to remember, I could already tell. In case of an emergency, visit the backup control room in car three and contact control headquarters via the intercom. Oh god damn it, I need a little like detective notepad. <laughs> we hope you enjoy your trip aboard the Amaterasu Express on your journey to Kanai Ward. So there are five cars. This must be car one at the front. I better find the other detectives and meet up with them. If we use this. The notebook menu has features and info useful for investigation. When info gets updated, it'll be marked with a new marker! Oh, check, check. Yo, check this out, yo! In case files, you see an outline of ongoing case and next objective! Oh, this stuff's vital! In save load file, current process can be saved, the game can be started from save data, how convenient the modern world is! I definitely want to remember this! You'd save whatever master's able to walk around freely, but there are some exceptions, so be careful! That's a wrap. Oh, there we go, finally the fucking options! What? Oh, it's Y, okay. God, yeah, I feel like the voices are so oh, damn quiet. This is looking pretty good. Alright. Okay. Hopefully that fixes the audio just a smidge. The voices are so damn quiet. I don't know if it came that way to you guys. Locomotoing. Use whatever you gotta to get the job done. Burn it into your brain. Okay. <laughs> Yuma Coco Head likes detective novels. Dislikes Amnesia, titled Master Detective. Hi, Max Unity. How was it going? Ah! It's a cat, chicken, nuggy, anymore. I love that. Happy, happy, happy. Boo, 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 boo. How you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We're playing a new mystery game that I haven't played before, so I'm taking a look around. Why not check your notes? All right, so we have a note section. It's so simple. I see. 
I see, I see. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, let's do a little save. <sighs> I love those cat emos. Ah, oh, the cat bite is so cute. All right, well, let's go find the other detectives. We're amnesiac uh, detective looking for it says things to do. In control room A. The door's locked. It won't open. <gasps> There's a driver's seat inside, but no one's there. The machine appears to be functioning. That must be the automatic operation device. Oh boy. Uh, it's gonna be a lot to remember in this game, I can already tell. It's a map of the train. The first and last cars can control the train. The rest are passenger cars. Hmm. Okay. Alright, we'll pay more attention to this later when we have to. There's a warning on the door. Please keep your hands clear of the doors. For your safety, doors will remain locked while the train is in motion. I mean, it makes sense. We, you don't want people just jumping off randomly, especially when there's no, like, staff on this goddamn train. Does, do automatic trains like this exist in Japan yet? Or there's, like, no staff at all? I bet that has to be a thing. <gasps> the bathroom. Toilet inside. This must be the restroom. No, it's the fucking eatery. Come on, guy. You're supposed to be a master detective. No inside it right now. Oh, good. Mm, that looks like a stain on the ground. Who used this bathroom for the daily wanket session? For God's sake, have some class. This is a train! The classiest way to travel! Hmm. See my reflection in the perfectly polished mirror. Still not used to it. Is that really my face? Hmm. Oh, that's weird. The reflection. Oh, look at that effect! That is odd. The rest of the window looks fixed in place, so it can't be opened. See, detectives through that window. Time to move on. That'd be kind of weird if we saw a detective just chilling over there. Excuse me. Hello? Anyone there? Guess there's no one here. I mean, would you have answered? If someone just randomly went up to your bathroom stall and you're in it? Hello? Anyone there? I see a clean looking Come on, bed. I'm shitting. This is probably the infirmary. It's locked, but there's no one inside. Wait! If the infirmary is locked and someone gets injured somehow on this train with no passenger, how would you get in? Like, I don't see a card reader. Yeah, I don't know how they would do that then. What, we just call a number and they automatically open it from a distance? I feel like having a train with, like, not a single worker it says main control is problematic. The door is locked and won't open. I see a driver's seat in there, but no one's inside. There's a machine, but it's not on. Driver's seat's on both sides of the train. I think that means they can go in either direction. Yeah, oh. probably. I kinda sounded like a real detective there. <laughs> oh, buddy. I have a feeling he's oh. gonna be in for a world of hurt. Someone's there. I heard a voice behind the door. <gasps> Let's go make friends! Yay! Friends! They don't look friendly at all. Uh, is that a cat boy? Okay, she's stylish. Uh, he looks like Hannibal Lecter. He looks like he's hunting treasure. She's the most normal looking one, which means she's gonna be the craziest. I'm willing to bet money. Friends? Excuse me, are you with the World Detective Organization? You are, right? You're Master Detectives, aren't you? They all look like they're about to beat my ass. We are. But who are you? 
Oh, yep, he's definitely a cat boy. Um, I'm with you. I think I'm also a master detective of the World Detective Organization. A boy like you? Master detective of the WDO? WDO? World Detective Agency, I take it? It seems like it. Seems like it. Okay, he's like the Biakia of. Oh my god, they took the all the catboy jokes of Biakia and actually made it true for this. Like hell, dumbass. Uh. Okay, you talk high and mighty for someone who looks like he has a goddamn thong on your face. Huh? A runt like you, a master detective? You're just shooting your mouth off. You look like a shriveled anteater. So he's friendly. I bet he's we're gonna be best friends. What's the meaning of this? You got a lot of nerve posing as a master detective. You wanna die right here, right now? W wait, please hear me out. Oh, right. I have proof that I'm a master detective. A letter from the World Detective Organization? Yeah! It's real. See? It can read. There's no mistake about it. What? Serious? Looks like there's a reason behind this. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. Oh, thank you, Sir Middens. That's your new name because you are a cat boy. Therefore, automatically everything you say and do is adorable. That is facts. Right. Thank you. But there's really not much to explain. <laughs> he fast forward a, I woke up. How much is there to explain? I woke up in a closet. That's what happened. <laughs> Amnesia. Looks that way. I was hoping one of you would know who I am. Apparently not. Apparently not. So skedaddle, Mr. Mittens. Throw him off the train. Well, my pleasure. Yeah. No way. We're on the same team but no one knows me? Then who am I? WHO AM I?! That's what I want to know. Besides, even if the letter is real, you may not be the right recipient. Why do you suspect me? There is a reason why. Because you're not a cat boy, yeah. But first, do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? Uh, solving murders? Um, a little bit? I think I remember a little. Or not. Oh, he is not selling himself good here, Cuckoo Head. Guess not. So you called yourself a member without even knowing. Yes. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. Oh, yes! Very lead well. me, Meow. I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. Uh, thank you. Alright, so he's... So, I gotta leave Mr. Minutes for last. So I gotta get all the info I can here. You have not said a damn word to me so far. I bet you're not going to still. Okay, yep. What? Hemp. You know, for someone who looks real stupid with what they're wearing, you're very judgmental. Oh. What is it? What, can I not gather clues? Okay, you're the Chiaki of this game, and I, you're already adorable. All right, Mr. Minnens, what's the hot scoop? Listen up. The World Detective Organization is an extra-legal, extra-privileged organization devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mysteries. I'm sorry, that's so, so made up when you go like, it's an organization that's extra-legal and extra-privileged. It sounds like you're just making it up. They're like, oh, we're, we're extra-legal. We don't have to pay taxes. Like, what the fuck? That's so stupid! What a bad opener! Their branches exist throughout the world, and their investigations are handled by master detectives. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What branches do the masturbators hold? As of now, 
there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the WDO. All have powers specializing in investigative work. If there's a thousand, then why do you automatically assume I'm not one of them? That That's a fair amount more than I thought there was going to be. I was going to ballpark maybe 30. Powers? They are supernatural powers used in investigation, known as forensic fortes. People who develop talents such as clairvoyant or mind reading, they train at the organization to harness these special powers, which aid in their investigations. Yeah. Those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective deed. Oh, which detective means, deed. If you're a master detective, it should say so on your license. Detective ah. deed? It's an identification card. Check your pockets. Something I probably should have done sooner. I don't have one. If you don't have a detective deed, you ain't one of us. Even if you got one, I'd suspect it's fake anyway. Wow. Also, damn, she even has purple in her hair, the girl on the left. I did not notice that until this camera angle. Oh, hold on, I'm not trying to trick anyone. Um, pardon me. Pardon me. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of you? Oh? If you require he has some sort of proof, then the same would apply to everyone here. Huh? The hell did you just say? She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Uh-huh. Huh? First time? So, you guys don't know each other? They don't know each other? Why are they so judgmental to me? Master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own, solving cases. I've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this. We thought all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions. Then you walked in. Huh, <laughs> yeah. I see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. What? You still want to do introductions? With the imposter too? Why do you all assume I'm the one? Is it because I'm the littlest one here? It's vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. Fucking always picking on the little guys. This is bullshit. All the more reason due to this perplexing circumstance. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? Now, let's begin. Fucking <laughs> just cat on like, yeah, it's always the little guys that get the bullshit, huh? Okay, wait. Now I gotta talk to everyone? Alright, old man, let's start with you. <laughs> He's looked at me like, oh, you, oh, ho ho ho, you approaching me. I am Zange Eraser. I come from a detective agency on the front lines, far from here. Is Zange Eraser because you have what looks like to be a laser eye patch? Well, he's got an identification badge at least. I do like the pink blood uh, splash aesthetic Perhaps a lot. You expect an introduction, but I have nothing to say. Let the past melt like ice in an evening stream. That's how I live my life. Hey, oh, I like how he rolls. My forte is photography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. Oh, so instead of like sketching it out, you could do it digitally. That's cool. That's all for me. There's no need for any further explanations. There's clearly something extraordinary about him. Mm-hmm. God, it looks like he watched Treasure Planet when he was younger. Any more to say or no? No, he's done. Okay. It doesn't seem like he'll say anything else. All right, dickhead. I bet you won't introduce yourself, but let's see. I'm Mayfex Logan. I'm from the detective branch in the eastern slums. Fucking, oh my god. Of course, his name is that. Apex. Okay. 
<laughs> See, I got proper identification. Oh my god. They call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke illegal immigrant. Oh, interesting. When I was a kid. I was in an upstanding home, living an upstanding life. Okay. My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso. Okay. Because they went after him, they were murdered. Their necks were cut open right in front of me. Well, okay. That's a little sad. That's awful. I ran away to protect myself and jumped on a ship at the port. I didn't know where the ship was going. That was the moment I threw away my past and my home. I drifted to the slums and did everything I could to survive. I managed to survive until now, thanks to luck. Okay. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. Excuse me. But I also wanted revenge. I can't stand evil. Huh? Welcome. Evil, I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. Oh, that name. Dog says Edward. Oh man. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Sorry, that name just makes me feel bad. Just watching FMA. Ah. You're having a great night? I'm glad to hear it. Welcome on in. I'm 8-Bit, your favorite chicken nuggy VTuber, currently a femboy playing a detective game for the very first time. I'm very excited. We're just getting going. If I can't figure out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, nice, nice. Yeah. I just beat up both of them. Kill or be killed is my motto. Yep, of course his name is Apex, and his motto is kill or be killed. He looks scary, but that's not all. He also talks a lot. I I think there's a deep sadness within him. Is there a Discord as well? There is a Discord! If you do estimation point Discord, you can join the Chicken Nuggie Box uh, Discord where you can keep updates or, you know, chit chat a little bit. It's not a super active Discord, but it's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't share details about my forte. Just know it's kind of like radar. Radar? Oh, what? As soon as you have someone on your radar, you can automatically find them no matter what. Are you? Are you Morbius? Are you a bat? Bat signal. That's all you're going to tell us? You got a problem with that, you tiny runt? God, everyone is picking on me because of my size. Not at all. You sure are a frail-looking kid, aren't you? Pale to boot, like disaster's got its claws on ya. You sure nothing weird is haunting you? Uh, well, we woke up because a ghost came to me, so maybe. No way! <laughs> but detectives gotta be tough. How about a little training? Uh huh? First, you'll need to get used to stab wounds. We'll start with an ice pick, then scissors, then a fruit knife. Wait, is a f is a fruit knife worth worse than an ice pick to be stabbed with? Oh wait, fruit knife has like that little hole in it, right? Ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, e, ooh, ah. Uh, okay, so maybe. No thanks. Don't be shy, runt. How are you not a murderer? No, really, I'm fine. <laughs> Too bad. That is some uh, spooky shit. Okay, it's up, guy. All right, well, three more to go. I'm leaving Catboy for last because he looks like he is like the most serious one. All right, so we had someone barely give us info, someone who gave us too much info. What are you gonna be? Uh. I don't have a good nickname for you, but just know I love your purple undercut and you're already my favorite because of it. Hey, young man. 
Uh, yeah. Um, me? That's right. Come here. Stand before me. Okay, this is clearly a trap, but I am lonely enough to walk into it. Why? She's gonna beat me up. Oh! Uh, whoa. Huh? What's going on? I'm measuring you. Oh! I haven't even measured myself, lady! What? Uh, um... Oh! 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 <laughs> Stay still for just a second. I'll be quick. Ah! Thank you. That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. Oh, my... Oh, oh, okay. You know, honestly, I thought she'd say thank you. You are definitely a beta. And I was like, what? What? My name is Melanie Goldmine. My home is rather far north from here. Okay, so she's a fashionista. I mean, she's cute. Yo, hell no. I mean, listen. <laughs> I I wake up with amnesia. Someone, I, I don't know, man. Someone wants to inspect me, go ahead. But I have not measured even myself, so that was weird. Up there is a branch with detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. Oh. Okay, she's kind of cute. Okay. I'll oh, I didn't really notice her ear piercings before. Okay, those are actually really cool. Wait, so... A medium? Okay. She has a purple undercut, like, half shave. Or she has a purple half shave on her left side with, like, the pink makeup. I wonder if she also has a neon yellow side to match the yellow makeup. Because if that's so, that is pretty clever and really color coordinated. I really like that. Listen, normally I wouldn't open up trying to measure someone's, like, body like that. But I mean, like, everyone's got their quirks. Yeah. I can summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a Catch vessel. these hands. Oh, God. You're Ace Attorney. She's, like, Maya from Ace Attorney channeling her sister. Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Yes, of course. But there is one condition. I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Ooh, cosplay! Let's go! Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. Hence why my powers don't work on people smaller than me. Or if the person is far bigger. Overall, the size must match. Well, that... Damn. You gotta be involved in very specific murders, then. Also, I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of the question. Uh, but... That sounds more like a preference than a condition. I was about to say, if you have to only wear the clothes of the murdered... I mean, wouldn't the clothes be sullied anyway? Or are you talking about you can wear any outfit of theirs? Clothes make a man. They reveal all about one's livelihood. Like skin worn over skin. That's what clothes are all about. Oh no, I'm wearing a Mario shirt and Christmas pajamas because I'm in loungewear on this Sunday. Consider that when compared to bare skin, clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. Therefore... Clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? Ghosts wear clothing because those clothes are a part of their identity. I mean, fair enough, I guess. Why did you mention it? I mean, there's Casper the ghost, but other than that, not many ghosts That's are why, naked. That's why, despite your amnesia... I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Really? Your uniform is undoubtedly an official one supplied by the WDO. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Well, finally, someone on my side. Which means I really am a master detective? Am I one or not? I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I have to say. I'm the medium detective, Melanie. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you, Melanie. 
All right. Uh, I'm assuming you're gonna be pretty shy, so you're not gonna have a lot to say. An introduction. Introduce myself. A subjective observation of one's own self-image explained objectively. Uh, are you okay? Did I do something that caused you concern? Uh, no, it's just you seem to be having difficulty introducing yourself. I rarely have a need to do so, so I was considering what approach to take. Mm. After all, is there such a thing as a self in the first place? Ah, oh, shit, she's very meta. All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting to external stimuli. If I had to, I guess I'd call myself Poochie Lavman. Poochie Lavman? Okay. She's unique. Oh, she's got a little bunny uh, charm so in her hair. Her name is Poochie, then. Names are meaningless. A method of arbitrary labeling for self-recognition. Symbols for categorization. Nothing more. To that end, it serves the same purpose as a detective deed. Or so I, Poochie, believe. She seems a bit odd. Yeah. Most of the World Detective Organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries. I was trusted with many bureaucratic investigations. My clients are mainly enterprises and politicians. Depending on the client, I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. Mm. My forte is known as audio aptitude. Audio aptitude? When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps. Oh! So she's a human lie detector. No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Poochie, am around. Hmm, fair play, fair play. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, I'm unable to hear things far away. Oh. I see. Mm, damn. Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. How persona of you. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish, which is why I tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. You can close your ears? Being blessed with powers sure comes at oh. a price. Wearing her headphones, duh. I was saying like she literally could close her ear holes at will. I was say, what are you, goddamn bionicle? Did she always act in such a strange way? Or did it develop after she obtained her forte? Regardless, she definitely has a distinct air about her. That is all I have to say about myself. Hmm, interesting. Oh. Oh. I was trying to help you! <laughs> oh, she's cute! Okay, oh, she got nervous. This part of her seems a bit more normal. I got embarrassed. Okay, so what? Is this is my character and her character like the ship of this game? Oh, wait. Oh, shit, I didn't talk to them after I did the dialogue. I hear a heart beating faster than usual. Is it my own? Aw, cute. Okay, but what else do you have to say? <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance, young man. Hell yeah. Goddamn, love a tall woman. You! I really feel like you're actually gonna be a really cool character. I just don't know you well enough yet. Well, my turn is over. But did you want me to train you after all? Man, I'm just trying to think about who would be the murderer in a dog and rompa situation. I'll go first. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Zilch Alex. Whoops. <laughs> Said he'll go for. I literally went for him last because he's cat boy. And yeah. Oh my god. I'm. <laughs> that's funny. Hmm. He seems so smug. It's funny. I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me 
Nature's mediator. Cause you pee outside? I love people, nature, and the harmony between them. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? Not particularly. The rumor has it that one by one, everyone involved with the dam's construction died, all cursed by a sunken ritual site. Ooh. It was a once in a century difficult case. The one who solved it was none other than myself. Well, way to humble brag. There wasn't much to it. The culprits were locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves. The strange part is that all 52 villagers were in on it. They all kept their lips sewn shut to protect the secret. Hmm. I'll let you figure out what that means. Oh, God. When harmony what a close village. and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Nature's mediator. He does look like a good detective. Yeah. Though he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. He might be a good boy. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. I'll describe my forte as well. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, but this is an emergency. My forte is animal investigation. I can control animals as I wish and recruit them from my inquiries. Quite fitting for the philanthropist that I am. Oh God, he's a Disney princess. Though useful in many ways, I mainly use it to gather intel. It allows me to survey a target while remaining undetected. As a basic rule, I can only control four-legged mammals. Less intelligent animals are easier to control. So, if that is the case, he'd be kind of useless on this train because there's no animals to possess. I often use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. Ah, little rats! You love it. I love to see it. Unfortunately, I can't show it off right now because there aren't any mice on this train. Ah, oh, man, rats! Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. He really is impressive. That is all from me. With love, I yield to the next person. <laughs> okay, he's kind of... I, like, I, I, I like him, actually. Yields. He yields. Lastly, it's your turn, Yuma. Aside from having amnesia, is there anything else we should know about? I still can't remember anything. If you really are a master detective, then you should have some sort of forte. Hmm. I have no idea. What would my forte oh. be? Young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes you usually wear? Or brands you like? You only inquired about clothing. Hey, clothing's important! We just learned why! Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. Okay, you're a little too violent for your own Hold good. On. Apex, stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. Yeah. The perplexing Down, boy. circumstance we face may have something to do with his memories. That's right, I was wondering about that. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Did something happen? Well... Something unexpected has occurred on our trip. Yes, but No, don't punch my guy! He's done nothing wrong! He's been a short king that's so far been bullied and violated, like, this whole time! The number of people is off. Huh? The number of people? I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... Precisely five. Oh, no wonder they thought I was an imposter then. Five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, uh oh. There's six of us. I also heard from the WDO that five master detectives will gather on board. 
Hence why when you called yourself a master detective, I was honestly surprised. I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. Ooh, I love mysteries. Woo, I need a Scooby snack. <laughs> this is getting exciting. Right? It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. Among us! I knew they were going to say it, and I'm ready. I'm ready for a big old game of Among Us. Oh, we're going to search for clues, and whoever gets murdered will be the imposter. Well, wait. The victim, whoever got murdered by them was from the... Oh, shut up. I I'll shut up now. I think. How about we contact the WDO and find out? It could be a mistake. It's no use. I can't reach them. There's no signal here. Well, God, that sucks for an automated train not having any phone service. <laughs> Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? It's obvious. I'm the most suspicious. Especially with my amnesia in this situation. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? I am the sixth one here. Alright, I got it. Alright, I'm gonna stab all ya, and whoever doesn't bleed out regular blood is the imposter! Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. You may speak, I'll allow it. Why would I need your permission? Whatever. Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you, okay, that one really took me for a loop. It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. Okay, I gotta give him credit there. The run must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack Yuma? To pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. The plan was going smoothly. The runt suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed, and the results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The run's gotta be tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. And I thought you'd be the most useless one here. <laughs> Why, thank you. Wait a minute. In other words, I was knocked out of the station because someone attacked me? But I don't think I've been injured. Excuse me. My deduction is slightly different. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. <laughs> He'll allow it, yeah! Stop acting like we need to get your permission! I suspect that the entire situation is a test designed by the World Detective Organization. A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member and is ascertaining our skills here. That's true. That, I, that was actually my first thought. Yuma here could possibly be the exam officer. Huh? Me? An exam officer? <laughs> Bring it on. I'll stab you. I'll stab you real good. I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got. What are you trying to do? For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. I mean, and fair how enough. How are you going to do that? Like this. Let's go. Oh. Oh, he's doing a radar check. Okay, I was supposed to say, what is he breaking the train? God, this makes me want to watch a um, train mystery movie. Hehe. <laughs> okay, he's a smug little shit. What? What was that? A weird feeling overcame my whole body. No signs of the enemy. <laughs> Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Um, what did you do? I used my forte, life detection. Ah. I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. The mechanism is a trade secret. I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. But what if someone has a forte that blocks radar? I don't know, man. Talk all you want, but who can verify that you're not lying? 
We're never gonna get anywhere if you start doubting everything. Use your own damn powers to figure it out then. I see. So Forte's come in handy at a time like this. Right. In that case, there's someone else with a power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. Yeah, as well say, it'd be her. I want to see what they have to say, though. Um, Melanie, could your powers be... No way. Not unless there's someone dead in one of the cars. But even if they were, their clothing would still need to be a match for me. Melanie's medium powers would... Okay, I just wanted to see. I mean, I knew it was her, but still. I just wanted to see what their dialogues were going to be. Would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Hoochie, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if Cute. someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeats. Shall I try? Yes, please. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? That's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiots! Yep, saw that coming. <laughs> Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? I need to concentrate. Even the music stopped, hell yeah! Oh, this would be very difficult to pull off if she's trying to look for someone like a mall. Oh. Oh, that's a sicko beat. Most of the belongings are made of fur. Oh. Okay. This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Does no one else hear it? What's going on? I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. Though one hmm. could hold their breath. They still cannot stop their heart from beating. Right, unless they were dead. In other words, there's no one else on this train. I, Poochie, guarantee it. See? I told you so. Sorry for calling you gloomy earlier, little girl. You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but... Aren't our powers kind of the same? I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. Oh, haha, <laughs> diss his radius. So you're the useless one. Quiet, you catty bitch. Ooh. <laughs> Moving on, we've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. Yeah. One of them... An imposter? But Aphex and Poochie both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. <laughs> but I'm the only one who can sense their powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. Why am I the only one? <laughs> Why do I feel like he's the imposter out of all of them? What's wrong with you, old man? You gone senile or something? Maybe it's because he's not wearing a uniform is why I think he's the imposter Can you so all far. Hear that? The sounds of a running train. The wheels of fate chugging along. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. Okay. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. 
Okay, I get that's a look of excitement, I guess, but that looks- That, that portrait's terrifying! That looks like he just got away with murder! Not bad. Things are getting interesting. Now this is getting interesting! You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and <coughs> yourself with your uh, fate? Sorry. How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? How oh, is he a fox? As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. Aren't humans really mammals, though? So, you're fine being considered a suspect, then? You are free to think what you wish. Also, I thought those- are those not cat ears? Am I wrong? I thought he was- is a cat. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. We can fix that. Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. That's true. There's no end to this! Hmm. To hell with it! Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one! Okay, yeah, sure, that'll that'll solve it. Passes out is safe. Got it? The real deal. If you don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter! One punch! Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm, that's fair. Motive. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. <laughs> Hundredth time. Why would they need your permission? He's such a smug bastard. The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows. But I could never catch them in the act. Oh? It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear. And at last, mm -hmm. they revealed themselves. Oh! Now that's a way to get a master bait. All right. Okay. Hold on. Did you just say that you... Hmm? Something the matter? <clears throat> Never mind. Continue. In all the detail. I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Oh! Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. The spy has only one goal. To disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hmm. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. Hmm. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Are you kidding me? We gotta explain that too? Uh, yeah, I have amnesia, you dumb twat. It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge ah! You 
see their products practically everywhere in daily life. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Oh shit, it's Amazon. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, with their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. Uh oh. That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? Ha 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 ha, no. Sure, I got it, thanks. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? I was assuming they're stationed there. It's fairly complicated, but Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. A what? Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Hmm. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. But why? The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, Master Detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. Hmm. And that's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. I see. Ah. Thank you very much. All right, Amaterasu Express, rank up! Skill points and memory cap. Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. That's why it's so sketch. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for a ride. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. Wait. So it's mainly a transport, uh, like a shipping kind of thing? It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. Oh, interesting. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big moving coffin. Da da da! All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be open. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Hmm. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. Interesting. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Oh, <gasps> a broken door to a mysterious fifth car? Most suspicious. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. All right. Has anything you heard sound familiar? <sighs> it feels like my uh, first time hearing about of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. Thank you, Merriweather. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? Huh? Who said that? Juko Enoshima, is that you? Damn those light screens. Did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although we only seem to have coffee here. Ah, but I don't like coffee! 
Well, at least she's kind enough to pour me some. Well, I don't like coffee. I don't know about this little guy. Do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Oh, I need some milk. Brunk probably wants milk. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself. I want the milk, though! Thank you. Milkies! Milkies for the femboy! Yeah! What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? I have amnesia, and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? It's you! I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Uh, still you, bud. Okay, to be honest, it's me. I mean, it's me or Zanji, but it's me. Looking at things objectively, the situation I'm in is pretty strange. Not to mention the mystery of my missing memories. Was it an accident or did someone attack me? Regardless, I can't remember. So in the end, I'm the most suspicious one here. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. Go find the voice! Remembering now won't do any good. Huh? There it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Runt! Huh? Uh-huh. Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. He's gonna stab us all individually in Minecraft over and over. That'll prove he's not the imposter. Uh, Zange? Okay, before we go see his powers, I'm not gonna lie, I, I really wanna go get a brownie, so I'm gonna go get a brownie from downstairs, if you don't mind. Chat, I'll be right back. Don't worry, we're making headway. Also gonna do a save, that way we just pass him this dialogue. You know, just in case. How many save slots are there? Oh, 10. Not bad, not bad. Alright, we'll be right back, chat. Don't worry. I'll be back. And in greater numbers.
Thanks for waiting, chat. Sorry. Besides me getting uh, a brownie, I decided to move my laundry over because I noticed the dryer was done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because laundry day is for a Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Let's go. I know. How dare. How dare I take care of my chores. What a whore I am, huh? There is a chance that it's all a trick made to look like a forte. Let's observe him carefully and see. Yes. Let's stare at this old man intently and watch him take out his cough medicine. Because he's old. I think someone old. has used to show the other side ha. of the moon. Can you do that, Zange? What is with the design on his back of his coat? It, that is so interesting. Photography, Looks like a... Uh, huh? Can you use it to show what historical figures wore day to day? It looks like a garbage disposal on his back. Make it quick, old man. It should be no problem if you're a real master detective. All right, of course he has no patience. Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. Aha! Show you off your forte, my dude. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. Yep. Oh, his phone! What's that? Oh, that's right. Cell he does phone? digital pictures. Quiet. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Now, this is a Matrix looking shit right here. Again, I can feel Zonga using his forte. As I've said before, my power is photography. <laughs> photography? Oh, that's my specialty. Cause I'm a thought. I can project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. I suppose it's faster to simply show you. Oh. That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. Oh, shit. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. Huh. But by copying it to another device before it fades, Footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Oh, I was about to say, wow, you have 48 hours to solve a murder, then. Pardon me, but are you sure this is photography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. All you do is doubt everybody. Be constructive for once. You think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. Uh-huh. I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. <laughs> oh, no. He's becoming schizophrenic. Oh, fuck. It's giving me Poor a guy. Headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Oh, no. Are we... Oh, are we enslaved to the girl? Oh, hey, shit. Man, are you all right? You don't seem well. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. That's the an idea. Rooms from car three and beyond are all full, so you should use car one at the front. I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. True. Monitor. You've got some nerve. I mean, there's an imposter among us. I kind of get where Catboy's coming from. Will you be all right on your own? Or do you need some company? Um... Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants some... I want some company. Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. 
I'm all right. I can get there by myself. Coward! I want the company. Will you ride on your own? Are you sure you don't need someone to take you? No, I'm fine. Ah, damn you! Oh my god, you are tripping, my dude. You look pale. Do you need any assistance? Sorry. No, I'm fine. I can go on my own. If you say so. I'll allow it. <laughs> the furry's a car ride. Go and rest yes. there. I'll allow it, you sick bastard. Hey. You don't look so good. Does, does it seem like an act? Go get some rest. Yes. Right. Come on, Runt. You look like you're about to collapse. Go rest up in the infirmary. S sorry. I'll do that. I'm on my way to the napping zone. Napping zone. I'll way to the napping zone. It's a map of the train. I already looked at this. Gotta catch some Z's, baby. Boy, I really slept in today too, so I that definitely happened to me. Oh, wait, it's locked. Damn it! You gotta find the key first. The key. Where is the key? Is it somewhere in the first car? I see. I see. The entire area of the mini map is shining. That means a destination or investigative object is nearby. Let's take a closer look around. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places. Uh... Is it in the bathroom? Why would the key be in here? I love a spooky. Hey, it's time to get up. I don't wanna. How long are you gonna sleep? Get up, 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 or I'll boom kill you. Huh? Oh God, he really was knocked out for a while. Oh, that's so cute, though. So you can finally see cute little me. Yeah. yeah. It's all taking root. I love you. That's so cute. I want to give it a little head pat. I kill it. It's already dead. It's a ghost, I think. Also, no, it's adorable. What? Huh? What is this thing? How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? Right? Come on! It's cute! Also, it looks like it's from Yokai Watch. Aren't you rude? Yeah! I'm gonna go Monokuma on your ass! It's talking! Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too? I've completely lost it! Wait, I, I thought she was the master. Master? That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pack yeah. just between us. Ayo? Am I actually playing as a Chad? Huh? What pact? What? You've forgotten all about how we were so passionately bound together? I don't even have to say anything. How cold of you! After I offered myself to you and you alone. Oh no! So How can we so evil? Possible. Take ownership of your actions. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Kitty, of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. You don't get a death god for free, you know. 
if you want to eat, you gotta bring something to the table. So we died. Okay, so my character... I'm assuming my character died, got brought back to life because we made a pact with this thing. And now we're gonna try and solve a big old thing that we got murdered trying to solve? Wait, what did you just say? A death god? Did you know Daw the gods of death like apples? Call me Shinigami. Shinigami, cute. Ha ha! I love it. Death God sounds so ominous and creepy. That ain't my style, you know. I'm too cute for that. I was born too pure and innocent. I don't believe that. That's why I prefer to go by Shinigami. Anyway, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> You like apple pie? That's great! I like apple pie too! Well, if I had to pick the best kind of pie, it'd be pumpkin pie! I really like pumpkin pie! If I was being a sissy boy, I'd say cream pie, but being honest, it's pumpkin pie! You keep calling me master? Wait, are you haunting me? You lie? Why you lie? Please, call me Shinigami! Excuse Shinigami. me, sorry. Yup, yup! Of course, I'm 100% haunting you. I'm haunting you like your life depends on it. <laughs> it's so adorable. I want to be haunted by that you. That was your wish after all. That's why we made that contract. You never like apple pie? <gasps> why would you lie to me? <laughs> you lied to your favorite femboy streamer about the kind of pie you like? <laughs> And for our sweet, sweet contract, you offered something in return. My virginity! <gasps> you mean... You finally got it? You offered your own memories. But why? You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. That's why I have amnesia? The euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. Oh! But I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. Oh, so they're inside me. Not. Neat. Huh? Which is it? Why would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Well, ain't that convenient, game devs? Way, master. Something's been bothering me. What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Huh? Two hours? Yep. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable, right? <laughs> I love them. This is During cute. During that time, no one came to check on you. What? They're all so cruel, you know? Maybe they forgot about you. Speaking of... Why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, so I was looking for the key to the infirmary. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. Oh! Also, freaking, uh, it kind of sounds like Hajime's voice actor, but not quite. When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Your haunting presence is probably why I felt sick in the first place. Hey, don't blame me. I might blame anyway, you. You better hurry and take a look around. That's right. Where are the others? Aha! They're following. Oh wait, so oh you sweet, they're gonna follow me. That was cute. It looks like they look out the window. This place. Landscape's passing by outside the window. Nothing Hello? looks familiar. You have no memories, Master, so of course none of it's familiar. Guess you're right. Hmm. You like nugget more? Ah, thank you. You like take a nuggy, take a nuggy. Mm -hmm. Why are you staring at the mirror? Are you the type of guy who admires himself until he dies of heartbreak? Yep. <sighs> I can see it in the mirror, and I can hear its voice. It's not a hallucination. <laughs> <laughs> you still don't believe me? 
All right, you're not gonna follow me while I take a shit, are you? Uh, it's a door to a private room. It's not locked. It just seems to be anyone inside. Sure, you don't want to open it up to check? Maybe a homicidal maniac is hiding in there. <sighs> There's no way. There could be, for all we know. S smoke? Huh? What's going on? It's me. What? You know that be watching over me the whole time? That'd be a baller move if they decided to kill off the whole cast right now. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. All I saw was your dumb sleeping face in the restroom. I have no clue what happened outside. So what happened here? Hey, look, look! There's smoke coming in through the cracks of the door. Oh hey, shit! Hey, is there a fire? Oh boy, so am I. Excited? We have to do something. So the control room's on fire. That's bad news. Fire extinguisher? <laughs> What's going on? Silch! Cat boy! No! Silch, please wake up! Silch! There's too much smoke. I, I gotta help. Master, look. <gasps> All right. Ow. Use the extinguisher. I feel, I feel like you could have used it through the window. No, no way. Boy, we barely knew him. Fuck, he burnt fast. Why? Why did this happen? There's no time to rest. If you're a detective, you know what to do. We were gone for two hours, and you guys couldn't behave. Huh? Search the body. You need to confirm if someone is really dead by checking the body. Listen, I know I played Dog and Rampa and all, so this does make sense, but come on! It's dead! Me? Maybe I should ask for help. Why would a detective run from a corpse? I don't know that I'm a detective. Well, you sure are one. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked for help from yours truly. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'll explain it another time. But since you've forgotten... I have forgotten, I'll yes. I'll be your mentor and train you to be a proper detective. Oh boy! So, get to it. I'm really doing this. Yep. Of course. The mystery is practically solved when a detective is first on the scene. <sighs> Investigation time! A body has been discovered! This is... Fire extinguisher I used is on the floor. It looks like it's mostly Master. empty now. You open the lock and put out the fire. That was some quick thinking, Master. And now you can check out the corpse up close and personal. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Silch might still be alive. Maybe I get my. I'd save him with this ADD. Uh -huh. That's a corpse, no matter how you look at it. Face reality and get investigating. Yeah, dude. Really? You think? You think some paddles will bring that back to life? Really? He's a god. He's as about as cooked as Anakin Skywalker was in Episode Three. There, unless there, you got like the Sith technology. They ain't coming back from that. That was probably the most foolish thing he has said so far. It's completely charred. No movement. No breathing either. 
Suffocation, no breathing. This cat boy don't give a fuck or needing. I can't feel a pulse. The smell of burnt flesh is too much for me. A knife is still lodged in the chest. This is the only knife wound. I don't see any other injuries. Well, how's our corpse doing? Dead, without a doubt. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. So how's the corpse doing? It's dead. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Thought so. Kinda charred, after all. You really didn't even need to check. <sighs> yeah. Don't be so glum. You had to check the corpse in any case. It's not that. I mean, if I'd noticed sooner... You think you could've saved a life? Forget about it. If you're so worried, try CPR. Though, you'll be tasting soot doing that to such a charred mm. corpse. Well, he was kind of dickish, so I guess I do save dick by giving it CPR. Save dick by giving it CPR! His dad is dead. Never let that get you down. Right. Aww. I have to tell the others about this. Mm, I smell a case. Oh, boy. <laughs> Zilch, how could this happen? Yeah. You know, time to act shocked. Don't anyone any others know? Oh no, what does the guide say now to about him? Oh shit, I didn't even look at this medical equipment yet. This is... It's medical equipment from the infirmary. I don't know how to use it. Even if you didn't know how to use it, there's no saving someone that crispy. That guy was charred black before you got into the room. Oh yeah, he did. Should he go on me? Likes Yuma, dislikes Borum, Entity Death God. Hmm. Death God contracted to haunt Yuma. Only this old Yuma, Shigami is constantly floating and bobbing along at his side. Though cheerful and chatty, the Death God's sense of morality is quite far removed. Hmm. When the master takes Yuma, I'm about to express. Not really a mild-mannered old man, he has a solemn expression of a battle-hardened veteran in the air of a killer. He's once a military detective in espionage. Okay, interesting. Likes, oh wait, actually, likes whiskey, dislikes modern cell phones. Title, Master Detective, Forte, Thought Detography. Apex Logan, one of the Master Detectives, you and Metal to Express. Likes basketball, ro dislikes rogues with no sense of justice. A rude, moody, and violent looking man who indiscriminately shouts at everyone around him. In actuality, he's a hardworking, decent person from the slums who worked it from his way to nothing. Melanie Goldmine. Likes beautiful, heartwarming clothes. Dislikes ugly, non-heartwarming clothes. One of the master texts is you and Armatsu Express, a glamorous woman with keen intellect behind her flamboyant appearance. It's a fashionista whose mind is often focused on clothes. She praises other people's figures and is quick to like anyone with a body type that would suit her favorite outfits. Hmm. Pussy Love Min. Classical music. Dislikes loud people. Okay. Despite her childlike appearance, she has a machine-like composure and mental processing speed. When she does show emotion, it can be surprisingly intense. She doesn't socialize well, and perhaps she avoids communication. Is uh, and perhaps because she avoids the communication, is awkward when shown kindness. Zilf Alexander. Yo, what is this game? This is da 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 Master Detective Archives Rain Code by the same creator of Dangin Rumpa, Dongeli Rumpus, Dangle My Jupus, Rumpa the Donga. Whoa ho ho. <laughs> Sounds like a job with a hut thing to say. Uh, but hi, Senate, how you doing? Hope you had a fantastic day. Yeah, the creator Dongan Rumpa came out with a new mystery game, and I am currently in the early stages of it. One of the most detectives uh, likes animals, dislikes destruction of nature. One of the he is fastidious, conceited, patronizing, with tendency towards leading the conversation, moving things along in logical order. He's found dead and burnt to a crystal infirmary card with a knife protruding from his chest. Yeah. Yeah, we're in the middle. We just found our first body! Charred to a crisp. It used to be a cat boy. And now it's a dead boy. Very sad, though. I actually liked him. Is there another body? Huh? No, not her! Oh, I really liked her! She felt us up! Of course I liked her! Wait, 
Holy shit, is my prediction correct? The game is gonna kill everyone we just met? Is this a dream? This has to be a dream, right? Maybe it's a nightmare. <laughs> Please, I wanna wake up. I can't take this anymore. Oh my god, if this is a twist, I am all f I mean, I'm gonna be sad, but I'm all for it, because holy crap. What a what it what a way to do the game like that. Crispy and then KFC. God damn, right? You're so pitiful, you know that? Are you sure you're the guy who sold your soul to me? I wouldn't even know. What are you anyway? Friend or foe? Oh yeah, just a little ketchup. Uh <laughs> ketchup sauce. Uh which we need for the eat this corpse. Um uh, basically we're playing as this guy, Yuma Cuckoo, Cocoa Head, which sounds like Cuckoo Head. I keep saying, almost saying that. He has amnesia, but our only clue is we have a pact with this death god named Shinigami. And that's about the story in a gist so far. We woke up in a train full of detectives. Supposedly, we are one of them. There's a poster among us, and now we're trying to figure it out. Can't eat anything just because it's crispy. Eh. Isn't that nice? I'm your friend, and I'll be haunting you till death do us part. But you are dead. Why would I make a contract with the death god? Wait, do they even really exist? Maybe this floating thing is just a figment of my imagination. Maybe you just go a little mad sometimes. Shut your trap! You memoryless, courageless, brainless detective. This is a nightmare to you. Then you gotta use all you got. But what can I even do? That's why I'll be your teacher and mentor. I'll make you a proper detective yet. Uh... Just listen to me and everything will be a-okay. First, check the scene of the crime like you did earlier. Now stand up. Come on. I mean, I guess we have to, but I would also want to know where he the hell the other three are. It's just so there's some liquor on the ground. Okay, so let's check out the corpse first. This feels very, very well done. Oh my god, quit wafting in her charred scent. God damn it. It's Melanie. She's not a steak. She's completely burnt to a crisp. But I recognize what parts are left of her face. There's no pulse or breath. No doubt she's been dead for a while. We were asleep for two hours! There's a bottle of liquor nearby. Maybe that was used to start the fire. She has a steak now. Maybe that was used to start the fire. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning with the wheels are turning. We didn't start the fire. You found two corpses back to back. You sure are reeling them in. <laughs> Talk about beginner's luck. <laughs> Brian started the fire. It was always burning and the wheels are turning. <laughs> there to do. There's nothing lucky about this at all. I don't know. I feel pretty lucky. So, what's the cause of death? Well, if I had to be a guess, she asked for medium rare but accidentally got well done. Um, there aren't any obvious external wounds. So she burned to death. The other one also got incinerated. Such a cruel way to die. What's going on here? Hmm, this seems a little too suspicious. I feel like I'm getting pranked. Ashton Kutcher, you son of a bitch. I knew you were going to bring back this show. Where are you at? Where are you hiding? Come on out. Ah, uh, you got me. There are empty liquor bottles around. All of them apparently had high alcohol content. Can Melly me have set the fire with this? Have been set on fire with this? Alcohol is the best way to cook the stench out of meat, after all. Kiaha! <laughs> oh my god. What a rich fragrance! How about a taste, Master? Uh look, I know I have amnesia, but I don't think I'm old enough for that. Also, are you drinking a martini or eating a donut? What was that? 
Okay. Uh. This is. There are a bunch of liquor bottles on the shelf. Could they be used to set Melanie on fire? Yeah, that's right. She was literally flambéed with some pricey-looking liquor, huh? Not a bad way to go. God damn it all. Let's go to the next one. Oh, what? The next body? Do you? Huh? Oh, you yeah, here we go. I mean, I can drink too. I was I'm talking about my character in game. Wait, does that mean a life detection thing was used? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. Huh? It got dark outside. Looks like we're in a tunnel. Oh, of course. Anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying? You should probably tell the other master detectives, yeah? Right. That's right. Okay, I really hope they don't kill, uh, Poochie. Poochie is adorable. Panda played to sword and stuff, which is cool. Most of his blinds are made of fur. God damn it, I had time to read those! Hey! Is anyone there? We need help in the first two cars! Who's gonna stop you? I'm not doing anything! Okay, Poochie! Apex! Apex? More like Apex Legends, yo! Anybody? No response. I smell a tragedy. This is like the very picture of hell. Woohoo! One mystery after another. I can't hold back from all this excitement. We have to find the others right away. I'm calling it. They're all, they're all dead. There's absolutely no way they're not. Just say! I I didn't want her to be dead! And that's number three! It's a hat trick! Or a turkey, right? <laughs> Master, if you don't want to end up like this, then you better be more prudent. Huh? The train hasn't gotten to the destination yet, and you can't get off halfway. Which means whoever killed these guys is still in the train, right? Well, fuck. But who would do such a thing? You'll find out if you investigate. You better nail it, Master. Regardless, you should leave the door open to be safe. You gotta make sure you don't get caught. Yeah, excuse me. It, yeah. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, she had cat earphones. This is a set of cat earphones. Ah, oh, Poochie must have had a lot of headphones. Hmm. This is too much food now. Yeah, you too much too much for you. Yeah, it's getting a little too much. She never took off her headphones even in front of people, right? How rude. Let's not speak ill of the dead. I'm sure she had her reasons. God damn it. Trolley bag. Trolley good fun. Bag? Maybe there's a weapon for self-defense inside. It'd be good for you to check it out. I'm sorry, Poochie. I'm taking a look inside. There's a change of clothes and travel supplies. No weapons or other self-defense items. It's a wash, then. It was sitting there like a treasure chest, so... I was hoping there'd be a rare metal inside. Why is this happening? Even Poochie. Master, let's move on if you're done here. There's no time to waste. <sighs> Where's Zonge? And Apex, too. Ooh, what if my abilities time travel? Maybe that's what my forte will be. I can time travel and stop these tragedies. That way they still reuse these characters. Cute bath. Spectator might have been Poochie's personal belonging. <laughs> Better be careful, Master. It might suddenly start going. Poo -poo -hoo -hoo! That's a dog and an rumpus reference. <sighs> Just a teddy bear. It's just something that strange could happen. Ha! <laughs> Way to call out their own series. It's Poochie's corpse. I can barely make out what's left of her face. She doesn't appear to have any external wounds. She looked like she was asleep, so she might not have felt being burned alive. There's a blanket over her torso. 
Looks like she was burned when the blanket was set on fire. Yep, it's a corpse. Thank you! There's no way I would have figured that one out. Jeez, gosh, Willigers, you're sure such a helpful assistant. All right, corpse number four. Oh. Okay, I was proven wrong. Uh. Who the hell stays in here? Oh, wait, no, this is Zongef's room. Oh. Whose bag is this? Oh, it's open. Is it okay for me to look inside? I say it's more than okay. It's just right. You're a detective. Why even ask? Detectives search people's bags and cupboards all the time. Smashing pots to find what they want is part of the job. That's too much. Notice. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Zilch Alexander, you are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous region of Kanai Ward. Dispatch duration indefinite. Hmm. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Sign we already knew. Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There, you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. Hmm. This is a letter for Zilch. So, this must be his bag. The only things inside are work documents. Nothing else of note. Aww, that's no fun. I agree. I expect at least this bunch of animal stickers to be on his bag. This is... It's a glass case with animal prints on it. There's nothing inside. This probably belongs to Zilch. Right. He's the only one that trained wearing glasses, after all. And he was literal cat boy. With his cat toys. This is... It's such as clothing brush. There's some fur stuck in the bristles. Then... Maybe he's clean freak? Not that it matters that he's burnt to a crisp. Silch. Silch, nada. Okay, so... Corpse number four! This isn't a passenger room. Oh. The sign says backup control room. It looks like a secret base. Don't you want to destroy these whenever you see them? Not particularly. No. There's no one here. So I should go look for help somewhere else. How about you check out that machine over there? Maybe it'll help you figure out what happened. Oh yeah, there's security cameras maybe. Fine. You just gotta hit this thing and it'll be good as new. Quit punching things. This looks like some kind of control device. It might be dangerous, so I shouldn't right. touch it. Yeah, you wouldn't want to press the wrong button and cause the train to derail. I mean, this whole situation's been derailing since we woke up. Oh, there's an intercom. In emergency, press this button and speak into the yeah. receiver. And now I'll report this to control headquarters and call for help. Won't connect. Why? Cause someone disconnected it. If it doesn't connect during an emergency, it's totally useless. If this system was completely automated, a report should have been sent to control headquarters about the fire. Maybe everyone in control headquarters is already dead, and you're the last living human in the world. Oh, what a interesting. Thing. All right, this is the train map. map. The shining part must be the train's current location. After we exit this long tunnel we just entered, we'll reach Kanai Ward in no time. It's been a long trip, but I'm sure it's been a shorter one for a certain napping detective. Oh, hush, you.
What's this machine? There appears to be instructions. Backup control system? Control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. Main control system fails, it'll switch the backup system after one second. So the control system manages the electricity. This one is the backup, not the main one. Hmm. Hey, what about the file over here? What does it say? It looks like an explanation about autonomous driving. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. Hmm. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Because of that, it can easily climb steep slopes. Oh, interesting. I guess everything here relies on that control system. So, if you destroy the main and backup control systems, you can stop the train. Right now, the control system is functioning, so the train is still moving with no issues. For now, we still got two criminals on board. The monitor displays an operation log, but there's no record that the train has stopped at all. Yeah. Master, while you were sleeping like a log, I never sensed the train stopping either. The doors won't open unless it stops and the windows are all locked. No one can get on or off while it's en route. Spoiler, I'm the best. That is true, B. How you doing? Hope you have a fantastic night, my dude. How you doing, baby? Ah. We're in the middle of an investigation. You're doing okay? Only okay? Just sleepy? That's okay. I've been an EP guy, too. Oh, so Haru! Hi! Been a while. What's up, Haru? Hope you had a fantastic Sunday. I don't know if you're interested in Master uh, Detective Archives rain code by St. Kratos of uh, uh, Dog and Rompa, but we're playing it for the first time. We're still very early on. Nothing, you're just up to nothing. Oh, you're deep into it? Okay, never mind. I don't have to worry about you spoiling you then. Yeah. Fucking, they're killing everyone I like. They killed the cat boy. What the fuck? Never heard of it? Fair enough. Uh, it's a mystery game if you like mysteries. This is bullshit. They literally killed everyone I like so far in this lineup. And now I'm just like, what the fuck? Ah, oh, I'm so upset. Huh? What's wrong, Master? I'm so mad. Like they're like, here's some cool characters. Just kidding. Oh man, it's a good print. It's a good twist. They're just jumping right into it. <laughs> Let's jump right into murder. I noticed the backup control system is operating. Well, it's better that it's running. All the electricity is managed by the control system, after all. Oh. Anyway, Master, I'm bored of this place. Let's move on already. All right, all right. Let's go find corpse number four. Bored? Also, oh man, does, does anyone else ever get the urge to put their toes in like a bucket of ice? I don't know why. I just feel like that sounds really nice right now. Like it's not too hot in my room right now, but it just feels like it. You better go check the next one. Yeah, you're right. You have the dub? Yeah, I'm using the dub! Why not? I dub makes it easier to listen to. Seek help? Okay, I'm sorry, B. Do you want me to put my toes on you? Let's go to the next one! You're just not used to it? Eh! I mean, if it was anime-wise watching it, I'd probably do sub, but since I'm streaming it, I'm also, like, doing dub. All right, big bucks, no whammies, big bucks, no whammies. Um, is anyone there? <sighs> Watch out. All right, bring on corpse number four. Nothing, okay. There's nothing here. I don't see luggage or anything else. If each person gets their own room, then someone got nothing, right? It can't be. Yeah, it's nothing. Shinigami's your waifu, though? I mean, so far, they're just an adorable little thing to me. I, I do know... I've seen, you know, trailer-wise what they actually look like, so yeah. Yeah. You're in love. Did you get the collector's edition, too? 
The only way I was able to get the game was buying the little collector's edition. They didn't have regular copies, so I was just like, alright, might as well. Let's, I, let's just hope I really like the game. So I got a cute little plush, at least. You're in love. Ooh, B didn't say no to my toes going on him. I didn't think it was worth it. I mean, that's fair enough. I want to actually get the game. I didn't want to wait, because physical, like, physical uh, ones weren't coming in for a bit. <gasps> tissues! Good, because I have issues. There's lots of tissues on the table. Maybe you can't turn out free samples when they hand them, people hand them out? Oh, I pre I didn't pre-order. Because I kind of forgot the game was coming out, and then it was too late. But then Amazon was like, hey, it's delayed, so you can pre-order through us. So that's what I did. But only the collectors. Oh yeah, so many reasons why someone to keep tissues next to the bed. Ha <laughs> ha! This is why you've been dead for two weeks? Hell yeah, let's go. What are you implying, Shinigami? Oh, come on. You're a healthy, rambunctious detective. You ought to know about masturbation. Jacket, jacket, jacket. Uh, Who does this jacket belong to? It looks like something Apex would wear. Say. Did you check the pockets? There's nothing inside. Hm. If we don't know who it belongs to, it doesn't make a very good clue. Is this porn? Hmm? There are magazines scattered on the desk. There's a pro wrestling magazine! What are hot, the hot angles these days? I don't think it has anything to do with the case. Let's move on and look somewhere else. But, I mean, I don't know if there's pictures like Dwayne The Rock Johnson in there, if they're old wrestling magazines. I wouldn't say no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know. I also love how we're no longer sprinting. We're all just casually walking, like, alright, we already found, like, three corpses. Might as well just keep being casual about them. I knew it! Corpse number four! Old oh, man! He was the one I suspected the most! How did this happen? More dead balls in a row! I'm walking with loaded faces! <laughs> what? Do you think this is funny because you're a death god? A little bit. No... Yeah. I think it's awesome! My heart's fluttering with joy! Each death takes my mystery to the deeper! So mysterious! This is all wrong! Well, now we know who the culprit is, allegedly. The one that kept saying he was gonna stab us! Hmm, he might have done the stabbing. Songetsu. He's burnt to a crisp. I can just barely discern his face, though. I can't find any particular external wounds, just like the other corpses. You should make a prediction at the end of the train on who you think the murder is. Uh. So I have a running theory right now. Uh. I have a feeling this is all one big prank. That or, uh, our po power is going to be time travel and we're going to save everyone. Uh, those are my two theories. Uh, I, I don't know though. I didn't watch too many trailers. Uh, for all I know, uh, Ashton Kutcher's behind all of this. So, we'll have to see. He was also incinerated in a burning blanket. No, like fair Sanchez enough. The first car and Poochie in the third one. All three of them are sleeping in bed and murdered by immolation? Immolation? No breathing. Oh, what's this? Zange's cell phone. Maybe his photography left something behind. Yeah, please, no spoilers. I know you wouldn't, Haru. That's why I trust you. No good. Just a video of me drinking coffee. Ah. It can't help me solve this mess. There I go. Unpop my ear. God damn. Fucking yeah. Although I mean, to be fair, she did just feel us up without like any hesitation. Which don't get me wrong, was well, cool. But when you just start feeling someone up, saying you're gonna measure them when you haven't even measured yourself before, that's just uncalled for. Also, thank God I unpop my ear. Ah. 
Yeah, no, I actually liked her. They killed... They killed... Literally, the one guy alive, at least supposedly alive right now, is the guy I've kind of liked the least. Her design, uh, character design was so cool. Yeah, she had the purple, like, half shave. That was so cool. I'm pissed about that, Haru. That's four of them. I can't believe they've done this. Wait. God damn it, I bet it's uh goddamn Baron Monokuma. There are just six people on the train, including myself. And I found four bodies. Sanish, I get it. Melami, Pucci, and Zange. The only one left is Me! I'm the murderer! Apex? Took you long enough. I knew from the very start. Ha! <laughs> you still need work, Master. I'll be sure to train you well. So Apex is the culprit? He murdered the others in such a deranged way? Honestly, I kind of don't buy it because he would just stab them all. Like, I believe him stabbing the cat boy. He hated him the most. They didn't even murder her like the others. They burned her in the food court <laughs> cart. They're like, that is so rude, right? Like, goddamn. At least let her get some shut eye. He's got a short fuse, so maybe it was a crime of passion. He probably lied about being a master detective. But he used his power! No, he's a master detective for sure. I sensed him use his powers. You sensed it? Hmm. hmm. But if he betrayed the WDO and became an Amaterasu Corporation spy... I hate Avex too, by the way, he's dumb. I don't, like, hate him, hate him, like, the most. I mean, I didn't, don't really care for him. I I had a feeling he was going to be a character we were going to come real buddy-buddies with, though, and now that's just gone out the window. It's reasonable to conclude he kills the other master detectives to sabotage our efforts. Anyway, time to boom kill that psycho! Oh god, look at how, wiggle, how wiggly she gets when she talks about murder. You are totally about to say that, right, master? It, not at all. If he finds me, I'm done for. Also, yeah, he had plenty of opportunity to kill. Maybe he left me alive because I'm the weakest link. Um, actually surprised you haven't died yet. You yeah, right? Be the first to die. She could well on me any day. Haru, that's horny. I approve. I won't deny it. I probably got overlooked. I was supposed to be in the infirmary in the first car, but I passed out in the restroom, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why the killer didn't find me. <sighs> oh, I just remembered! Huh? What's up? What's up, what's up? Master, I told you that while you were passed out, no one came to the restroom. You wanna cosplay Yuma? Do it! I believe in you! Be a short king! But one time, the door did open, I think. Huh? By the time I noticed, the door closed again. I don't know who was there. Now that I think about it, could it have been that guy with the short fuse? Where'd you get that mustache? You you look like the guy from the Pringles can. I approve. So he let me go? Why? Yeah, he got those light up sketchers. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, he looks so much like a detective, kind of with his outfit in the Aho game, but then this fucking light up sketchers. There's nothing stealthy about those. Hmm. Maybe he thought you weren't even worth killing. You're an incompetent guy with amnesia. That wasn't a diss, just a fact. By the way, Haru, is the audio okay? Like, I raised up the cut character voices because I thought they were really quiet with the rest of the music. But is it alright sounding to you? I know. Now that we know who the culprit is, we have to find him before the train arrives. Find him and do what? Catch him, of course. And it's all up to you, Master. That's impossible. Yep, sounds fine. Yeah, I had to turn down the background music too. Right? God damn! In the beginning, it was so quiet. Wait until you get the cape and bucket hat. So cool. So cool. It's fine. There's no time to waste. Heh! <laughs> I love that teeth image. Nothing's fine about it. Well, look at another body I have to eat. <laughs> Sanjay 2, how can this happen to you? Uh -huh. No point acting like the misty-eyed her heroine. Let's get investigating. Oh, okay. Fine. Aw, he had cactuses! Aw, poor guy. 
this is. These might belong to Sanjay. They look well used. So they could be really old. Same. Why don't you look inside the notebook? There might be something about the case. Seems to re-record the past cases he's handled. Mm. But there isn't information about this current case. What a nutcase. Although, Haru, I will say, Yuma Koko, or whatever the fuck how you say his name? Hang on. Yuma Koko Head? I can't, I keep calling him Cuckoo Head. That has to be on purpose. There's no fucking way that's not on purpose. Amnesia Guy, last name almost sounds like a Cuckoo Head. He sounds nuts. God damn it. <laughs> This looks like Sange's bag. It is There's nothing inside that matters. I hate his last name. It is so dumb. All right, those were the only things of note. All right. Now, it will 8-bits theory be correct and also I forgot his name is also dead? No, but I want to wear these clothes. This is there are women's clothes on the bed. I wonder if they belong to Malami. Yeah, right. Those are flashy threads. She's definitely gonna get some looks in the city. But now she's all burned up. Guess she won't be wearing it anymore. <laughs> Melami, why'd she have to die? She's the first girl to feel me up. I think. It's a woman's travel bag. There's a name here. Melami Goldmine. <laughs> Melami Goldmine. It looks like makeup and travel supplies. Nothing noteworthy. Hey, did you check to see if someone's hiding nearby? Yeah, no one's here. You sure? And what if he's hiding in the back? Even a child couldn't hide in there. You don't know that. You're up against a master detective, remember? What if there's a master detective who has the appearance of a child, but the mind of an adult? Of course there isn't. Oh, we don't know that. You sure about that? I think there's totally a detective like that out there. I mean, there's over a thousand, apparently. Uh, cosmetics pouch. This is. This pouch with cosmetics on the desk. This was belong to Melami. Maybe that's a hit on you, Mutt. Oh no! I didn't even realize the dig on himself. Oh, but she'll never what? use it again. You shouldn't make up, apply makeup to fresh burns after all. Kiha! I mean, I'll wear the makeup for her. Let's do it. We're out of the tunnel. There is something sus about Yuma for sure. I mean, why make a pact with a death god? It got brighter. Guess we made it through the tunnel. Which means we're almost there. At this rate, you'll let the murderer escape. Oh. More shaking? What is it this time? Master, you gotta hurry! The next train car is the fifth one. This train has five cars in total, so this is the last one. Oh, but... But you can't access the fifth car. The one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. I mean, we still gotta check it out, Yuma. The door was supposed to be broken, right? Master, you better hurry! <laughs> God, you're so hey, cute. it opened. Me. Was it repaired? Why is there so much coom everywhere? It's been wrecked. What happened here? <laughs> Sounds like me on a Friday night. And body number five? Called it! A dead body. Wait a minute. No way. There can't be a fifth corpse. Because that would mean everyone except me is dead. So mysterious. Even I'm getting confused now. Anyway, time to investigate. Huh. Yeah, I was about to say this. This isn't 
add up, actually. Um, I was gonna say, before you made that comment, Haru... Wait, he's not bald? Hang on. Yeah, none of these characters are bald. I don't think that's Apex. Yeah, of course not the character. Wait a minute. Okay, this might be a stretch. Okay, I have a new theory. Melanie's alive. And is the murderer. I think with enough makeup and stuff, they could make Apex's corpse look like her corpse. I think that is a theory. That or Zilch Alexander's alive because... So, okay, the... There are big corpses that we saw that had their features still intact. So, I'm not... Maybe I'm wrong, it's Melamy. I don't know. But, I don't think it's just black and white like this. That it's Apex. I mean, it's not going to confirm that he's dead until I click on the body. I could be wrong. Maybe they're all dead. I don't know. I, I, I just feel like... As someone who's played the entire Danganronpa franchise, I know to look out for a lot of fucking twists. And I'm never one to just buy it's just straight fucking forward like like this shit, okay? No. No. After Danganronpa V3, no fucking way. Absolutely no fucking way. The, the creator, who created, who is the creator's name for this game? Fucking, he is... There's no way it's simple. And that's why I think it's not Apex. I understand separate... Oh, wait. Separate DP, like, ser, like separate creator from this game? Separate DP from this game? Hmm. Look, I, I know they're different. But I just... The mystery can't be that easy. I want to know. But we're going to figure this out. Uh, we're going to figure this out. I got like... I got like... Uh, I got like three and a half more hours I can stream. We're going to figure this out. Okay. This isn't a fake. It's a real corpse, isn't it? Also, his hands are small. Well, I guess they get burned. But they look like jerky. Without a single doubt, the bona fide remains of a human. I'm positive about that. I specialize in corpses, after all. I'll check for signs of life, just in case. Why do you keep doing that? No, he's completely dead. No shit! Huh? Ah, oh my god, Yuma. His necklace looks familiar. Wait, it's the same one Apex was wearing. That could be planted on him. Also, I did not realize... Okay. I didn't realize his eyes looked like that. I am sorry. I understand it's supposed to be a mask and all. I keep thinking it's a thong he just put on his face. Or underwear that he just cut up and put on his face. I'm that's all I think about when I see him. Looking at the body type of the corpse, matches the guy with the short fuse. His face is burns beyond recognition, but could this really be Aphex? Yeah, right? Hate it. You might find it unbelievable, but it seems like it. So his cause of death was also fire? Well, check the dental records. Yeah, I don't see any other external trauma. Wait, there's an injury on his chest. Wait a minute, is this the cat boy corpse from the first car? Let's go back, because that guy had a knife wound too. Hey, you're right. I'm surprised you noticed. Is it a stab wound? Looks like he was pierced with a blade. 
If that's the case, was he stabbed to death? No, he could have been incapacitated by the stabbing and then burned. It's impossible to determine the cause of death with what we have. Oh? You've gone full throttle in this investigation. Good job! To me, for being your mentor. But why Aphex? Mm. Yep, this corpse is real too. Alright, we'll look at that in a second. Alright, let's start from the beginning. Let's see if there's any clues. We're gonna Scooby-Doo this bitch, goddammit. What is this? Huh? That's weird. This area seems more burnt somehow. Maybe there was something flammable in there. See? Look there! There are traces of something that got burned. A pancake? Is that some sort of plate displaying the train car number? But why is this the only one completely burnt? It doesn't seem particularly flammable. This is... Mm. Mystery! <laughs> Mystery! Why is that part only charred? Okay. Can't go outside. There are other places to check out, you know. Yeah, no, I know. Sure. Yeah, I know I was supposed to go check out more. I love when you're obedient, Master Key. Haha, <laughs> oh my god. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to check out this room here. Main control room A. It's no use. It won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. Mm. Alright, let's check out the bathroom. This room is in terrible shape. The mirror is cracked and covered in soot. There's no one inside. Well, better go take a shit for good luck. Oh man, we can't open these? Okay. Fire extinguisher gone. Oh, there it is. Wait, door key? Huh? What's this? What is it? Did you find something? The interior lock is open right now, but... There's something odd about the latch. Look, there appears to be blood on it. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. Let me try to slide it. That's a blood stain, all right. But why is blood there? It seems the blood got on there while the door was locked. Hmm. That's evidence of something for sure. No harm keeping it in mind. Sure hope you got all that down. Ah, uh, I should have brought a notebook with me. This is... Medical device is here just like in car one. This train is unmanned, right? If there's no one on the train who knows how to use this sort of device, why even have one? This is... There's an AD set up in the firmary, but there's no sign it was used. <laughs> no point using so is already burnt to a crisp! Ha ha! Hmm. Burnt bed. This is... Little Shinigami's your notebook? Yeah, I can see that. Fucking transform! Death notebook, please. They're my little death note. Let's go. The bed in the firmary is burned and flipped hmm? on its side. Why is it only this only this bed turned over like this? Mesa hide evidence of some kind? Just a hunch. Well then let's move it. You bastard. Looks like someone crapped on the bed. Me after an IBS night. You motherfucker, B. God damn it. All right, I'll squat. Hang on. I'm gonna squat all over this corpse's face. Ah, uh, okay. All right. People are dying, and Ape It just keeps squatting. Okay, here. Let me move my chair out of the way. Ugh. Stretch until uh, work them cheeks. I work them cheeks in the name. I work my cheeks in the face of mysteries. Uh, okay. All right. This is for all who have been deceased so far this stream. Okay. 
One for Melamy. Two for Catboy. Three for Heartbeat Girl. Four for Old Iron Patches. And that's all that's important. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay. Thank you for the squats, B. Thanks for the squats, BB. Aw, thank you for the hip pants and fanfare. Thank you, thank you. Ugh, I didn't have my headphones on, so I'm assuming that played. Whew. Okay. Ooh, and a hydrate too. Thank you, thank you. Wait, does this soul mean investigate the corpse? Oh, no, I already did, okay. Hey. Aren't you guys necklace on us? We want to tell who it was. Okay. It says main control room B. B, it's your control room. It's no use. It won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. Hey, Master, maybe someone's hiding in there. Any way you can bust it open? Oh, I can bust, all right. I don't think so. The door looks too sturdy. Also, I don't think it's possible for someone to be hiding in there. Well, how it gives you HP for looking at everything. I do like that. I, I can't wait to see how that actually t uh, comes into play later. Apex and Pucci both said that there were only six people on the train. So, including me, there can only be six of us here. Hmm, I see. I see, I see. Uh-huh, they grew a fun guy. Oh, why are there two control rooms in a single train car? They probably have control rooms so it can go in either direction. This is the last car for where we're heading, but it'll be the front car on the way back. Oh, well, now that you mention it, there is a control room in the front train car, too. <laughs> it won't open. But this is the last train car. There's nowhere else to go from here. Unless there's a sixth train car I just don't know about. A body has been discovered! Using the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please mind your belongings. Master, we are almost at the station! You have to catch the culprit! Catch who? Everyone besides me is dead. That's it. Put the handcuffs on yourself, bitch. You're under arrest for potential murder. Are you sure it's everyone? Calm down and count again. Yeah, time to get arrested for murder, right? Silch in car one. Melami in car two. Pucci in car three. Wait, is there a body for every car? Zange in car four. And Aphex in car five. No way. See, no. That's five. Everyone besides me is dead. No, no, absolutely not. That body, the cat boy, he was stabbed. The corpse in car five was also stabbed. That is the same goddamn body. I will put money on this. That makes you the only possible killer, Master. Did you do it? No, that's not possible. I don't know. You were sometimes. Maybe you you slept murdered. You slept killed. You were asleep for two hours. But I can't say for certain. I lost my memories, and now I'm seeing a death god. There's something wrong with me. Death gods are said to reap human souls. Maybe because I'm being haunted by one. Maybe subconsciously. I... We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please watch your step while exiting the train. Ah! We're finished! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, are we gonna be put on trial? Oh! Is that how the court case is gonna go? We're gonna defend ourselves? Ooh! It's an ace attorney kind of thing! No. Damn it! I, I don't know. 
I'm a pacifist, but. Yeah, I knew it. Master, those guys from before are still on the platform. Run to the front train car. Why is this happening to me? Because you're a short king, and short kings have to go through the hardest trials to get the baddest bitches. Why are they wearing gas masks? I wonder if Master can even make snap judgments. You might find yourself in the pitch during the course of Tetor, fall on screen instructions to get out of those tricky situations. Really quick time events? Master doesn't make mistakes. Right? Right? Oh right? my god. Okay, you Borderlands looking fuck. Okay, these guys suck! These people, the police? They're not your friends, that much is for sure. Considering the state of the crime scene, they're totally gonna pin it on you. But. How silly. Oh! Holy shit, why was that so loud? Aha! Gotcha! Wait, how is that affecting them? They have gas masks. They're gonna arrest you! Run! Oh, shit! I didn't realize that was the comm- Oh, God. This is so silly! Oh! Okay. <laughs> how silly- Wait. I will say that bot. I bet the body wasn't there. I'm willing to put money on it. And we're gonna go Weston. Many parts of development, so much cannot be made public. And my rats and peacekeepers, they serve as police force with the Kanai Ward. Like the stormtroopers, they suck. Oh, now they got weapon. Why is why would the other one have a weapon? Oh, looks like you're done for. Wait, please listen to me. I can explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. What's that to talk about? You're a master detective of the WDO, aren't you? Oh! My name's Swank Katsunel. I'm with the Amaterasu Corporation's beast. You're a peacekeeper? You look like a boss from Borderlands! Oh my god, his grill says money. Oh my god. Oh my god. He looks like a pimp daddy. Corporation peacekeepers? Don't act like you don't know. WBO detective for crying out loud. Look at his cigarette sm or cigar smoke is a money cloud. Oh my god. I gotta give him credit. They know how to make a really scumbaggy looking character. Oh my god. Or are you some sort of imposter? Imposter? No, I think. You think? Well. I don't care either way. What's about to happen has already been decided. Which is? The peacekeepers are the defenders of law and executioners in Kanai War. If the unjust wander into my space... But I'm from Facebook. They will be eliminated. Oh, it's a death cloud, okay. Eliminated? Hey. Is it Kanai Ward under the complete control of Amaterasu? Meaning, these people are like the police here. Police? But it's just some company security department. Hey, who are you talking to? Uh, you, moneybags. All right, you're the only one who can see me, thanks to our contract, master. It's a big cliche at this point, huh? <laughs> Don't laugh, help me! I'll ask again. 
Who do you think you're talking to, huh? Talk about suspicious. He's super brave to be wearing that coat. Yeah, I'd rob him. I'm sorry. Tell me how you're gonna explain this situation. We prepared that trip to welcome you all here. But an internal fight sprawling into a bloodbath was unexpected. It, it's not what it looks like. There's a perfectly logical explanation behind this. You're the culprit. Ah, uh, you have no evidence! Uh well, that was direct. Master, try your best to beat him. No, I really don't know anything. Everyone was killed while I was asleep. I don't think so. While the other detectives were asleep, you killed him. His proof there's the coffee and wine. Huh? What? What the... We found coffee and wine in the dining car. When we checked the second car earlier, I had a subordinate drinking. You can see what happened. Looks like some sort of knockout drug was mixed into it. Drug? Which means you drugged the other detectives and killed them while they were passed out. Wow. He may just be a lowly grunt, but he knows his stuff. He could be trouble. But I was passed out too! Why do you sound so impressed? So did you figure out the cause of death? Yes, they all burned to death. Huh? All of them? How cruel of you to kill them like that. What's your endgame in this? Is it money? Or is it money? I bet it's money! If it's money, then hand over everything you swiped. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. Oh my god. He just wants money! That's no fair! We're broke! <laughs> I'm not the culprit. Seriously, tier 3 subs, come on! You don't want your femboy to go to jail, do you? You don't want to win this monstrosity win, do you? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love you all. Ma. Yes, you are! You're the culprit! No, I... I love how all these games always have to prove culprit. we're not the culprit. But do I know that for sure? In this situation, who else besides me could have done it? There were without a doubt only six people on the train, and five of them were killed. So the only possibility is... Just admit it! I know you're the culprit! This is not the courtroom, sir, and I deserve a lawyer! What am I supposed to do? Admit it now! You're guilty! Am I the killer? Come on, confess. <laughs> Fuck. It's like it's like the Scott Scott the Wasp skit where like he's trying to interrogate the murderer. Permission to persist? Fuck it. Say it, 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 say it. And then, oh, I guess I might have killed some people. <sighs> Maybe it's better if I confess for now. What? You stupid motherfucker! It could be better to get through this now and get some time to think about it. No! Why confess if you didn't do it? Master, you're an idiot! Dumb fool kill you! Right? You dumb bitch! Uh, huh? You heard me? I didn't say it out loud. Shinigami, get him! There you go, get him! And talking to yourself you must be crazy or something. It's my forte! I told you we share the same mind and body. Anyway, never mind that. Why are you giving up already? Well, there's nothing I can do. Wrong. The mystery solving has just begun. Why did you make a contract with me to begin with? Look at them wiggle. Huh? What do you mean? Stop talking to yourself, you unstable psycho! Bring him down, men! Confiscate anything of value he has while you're at it. Ra Rainbow pukey time? I'll show you what I'm made of right now! Oh? Come on, Master! I'll know soon. Oh! Huh? Huh? Oh! Hey, yo, Sailor Moon transformation! 
animation in my detective like dog and rumba game? Oh! 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 This is the god of death? Kill me now! In Minecraft! What is this? What's happening? Uh See waifu yo what? Degeneracy? Oh now I am so happy I made a pack with death. Hmm. Uh um mm -hmm. can we watch that again? Put my pants back on? No. No 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 no. what's this? What's going on? <gasps> yeah, who are you? She's so jiggly! Dean, I've been with you the entire time! Oh. Wait. You're Shinigami? Oh. I guess you can't tell because I'm not puppy anymore. <laughs> You're puppy, alright. So She's got a little Sometimes tattoo on her booby! It's true. Wanna touch? <gasps> Chat, look away! Chat, look away! Chat, look away! I'm about to do some unseen puffiness! It's like time has stopped. And what's that hole? Oh, please go in her hole. Go in her hole! Mystery labyrinth? You'll find out when you enter. Come on, let's go! Ah! You have to tell me. What's a mystery labyrinth? Don't, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Nugget, be respectful. They are called chesticles. I will... N I will not... Mm. Oh, Cassie apparently saw her me getting too excited. Now she's coming in to check on me. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Literally after all my, like, horny screaming, Cassie's scratching at the door. What the hell's going on in there? <laughs> oh, my God. The mystery labyrinth makes you think of Persona 5. Ooh, that sounds so exciting. Okay, literally Cassie keeps, Cassie's about to eat and then I did a joyous squeal. Now she's over me like, what's going on, dad? Wait here, baby girl. Come here, come here, come here. No, no, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, baby. Yeah, here, wait, no, 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 come on. I want to see something. Hang on, hang on. Ugh. Baby girl. Hang on, hang on. Ugh. Cassie, do you want to meow again into the mic? You want to say hi to chat? Cassie. Oh, no, I'm not eating the cat, although she's trying to eat herself out of my arms. Come on, say something, baby girl. I'm gonna keep kissing your forehead till you say something. Oh, of course, I want you to say something. You're quiet the whole time. But you talk a bunch when I'm trying to pay attention, huh? All right, I'm putting you down. There you go, baby. You enjoy your travels. Cats the same, right? Oh, yeah, save current progress. Wait, actually, let's, um... Hmm. Let's make a new save file just in case, you know, I want to go back and rewatch that. Yeah. Okay, I'm in a palace all of a sudden. 
Oh, no way. First of all, cool cape. Love the cape. Now, hang on. Circle back. I saw a chain. Where am I? What do you think of my awesome powers? This is what you obtained in exchange for your memories, Master. Oh, this was the correct choice. You did this, Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Hmm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. It's got that kind of vibe, right? We're in the metaverse. This is what Mark Zuckerberg's trying to create. An alternate universe. Hey, you don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome. It does seem awesome. You probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Check this out. Ta-da! This is the mystery labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. Materializes mysteries? Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape as a mystery labyrinth. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. This maze is the mystery? Interesting. I have the power to interact with this mystery labyrinth. And that's why we were able to come here in the first place. Anyway, Master, we're gonna beat the Amaterasu Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth. What happens when we beat it? In every case, there's a hidden truth. We have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. After all, only one truth prevails. So, if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. We'll discover the killer's identity, too? You couldn't That's solve convenient. it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. But whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be too. Hmm. Killers in real world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is gonna be a tough battle. Hmm. So you're saying there are traps in there? Yep, looks like you're finally getting it. Now that I've explained it all, let's head into the dungeon. Hold on. I, I don't understand any of this. Yeah, why don't I have a hat? Uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. This one is formed from a murder on the Amaterasu Express. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth, if the Amaterasu Express case will be solved? Just repeating what you said, but yeah. Yep, you totally what? I don't get anything! This makes no logical sense! Sheesh! This is why you're a bench warmer detective. You're in an alternate universe and hung up on details. I agree with her there. Of course I am! Okay, uh, I'll explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. All right, I'm good. That'll make all your worries disappear. They did. No, it won't. Please explain <laughs> it now. <laughs> relax, relax. I'll tell you in due time. Come on, let's go. Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Oh yeah, I need to hydrate. I'm a little thirsty right now. Thank you, Haru. Uh. Sorry, I forgot to mention the important keys. Whoopsie. Keys? You mean for opening doors in the dungeon? Honestly, will they show that chain again? I have a feeling I know what it means, and I really want them to show it. Yeah, something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. They're called solution keys, and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So, where do I find them? 
solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. You kinda had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. For starters, try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. The Amaterasu Express? Uh... The Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm sorry, I'm still thinking about our boobs. It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. Okay, this music's funky, and I love it. Oh! Oh! Oh, please! In my mouth, lady! Um, 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 um. Wait. Puking in my mouth is the key to this? Oh my god. I have found the 10 out of 10 game of the year! <laughs> oh my god. New room key. Let's go. Hell no! Nah, hell yeah! Fuck it, I, <laughs> you know I'm all about the chainsaw man scene now. That is so funny. So this is a solution key, but why did it come out of your mouth? Mm, what do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. I worked really hard developing this method. Oh my god, I love you. You put thought into this? So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys through your mouth oh i got a i um i i got a clue that could be um you know transformed into a key if um you know you 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 you, you wanna i mean i'm just i just saying i got like a raging clue you know wait until she gives you a sword oh i want to give her my sword your honor let's keep reviewing what happened in this case <laughs> All right, I'll do my best. Also, this fucking... He needs a hat! He needs a hat! Like, the cape's cool, but he needs, like, a fedora. You know, you want this sword of hers? I mean, true, if she's gonna stick it in me, might as well. And me, too. Oh? Uh, the incident occurred inside the Amaterasu oh, Express cut while it was still moving. Including myself... There were six master detectives on board. How does it come to the city? Okay, fair enough. Aphex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Alright, more vomit time. And who died first again? It was Zilch, and the first car's infirmary. I still doubt it, though. I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking through the window... I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole area. I hurried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge because it was locked. Does that mean this was a locked room mystery? Ooh! Not really. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. Mm, that's no fun. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car. But I found Melamy's corpse there. I think she was uh... in the dining car. Poor Melamy. <laughs> Also, she's got Neapolitan ice cream hair, and I love it. That reminds me. Something was off about car two. Right before the train entered the tunnel, there was a strange shaking. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure. Uh, wind stuff. Hmm. And there was a blackout right after. Although, it only lasted a moment. Yeah. What was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel, too? 
No. When we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. I kind of want ice cream now. There was something else, too. Something that happened when we were in the fourth car. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. A clue? Okay. And the next corpse. Was the little girl in the third car? Yeah, it was Poochie. Another burnt body. Just like the first two cars. Oh yeah, wasn't there a secret base thing in the third car? You mean the backup control system? I remember something about that. Sorry, it's looking at her legs. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. Anything else you can remember? I know, it's pretty ironic. I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? What do you think about that? We're asking her, the, the player. Stopped, so it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? Yeah, that's true. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, right? He was also covered in burns. Okay, yeah. Eye patch aside, I mean, the eye patch could be taken off, but like. Uh, that last corp is the, corpse is the most suspicious. Like, this one, everyone else has seemed believable. Was there anything strange about that corpse? He didn't have any external wounds, but he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography ability. Oh, yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. Anyway, no, she's right. Easier for now. Don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. Hi, Cassie. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was. It was the first body. I am telling you this. I believe Catboy's alive. <laughs> that or Melon me. But the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. That's not enough to go off of. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. Also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, the fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. Maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. Oh. And the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. It is. Uh-huh. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? Well, what about the coffee being drugged? Well, we already talked about there that. There was something else. After the train Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Station, all right, here we go. According to the peacekeeper's report, they all burned to death. But that part seems off to me. And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Which is something I took in the game. Yeah, I think that's everything of note. Thanks for the meal. This should be enough solution keys to solve it. But I still don't know how Tastes like Skittles. Master, you worry too much. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Taste the rainbow. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important too. Of course you are. So keys manifestation and clues related to a case. You can acquire update one by investigating the case and moving sure, the story along. Sure, you got all that down. Can you notebook menu, try checking out. Okay, all right. Shinigami's tutorial corner. Labyrinth skills are abilities to help you clear mystery labyrinths. Acquire them by spending skill points SP when you, your detective ranks increases. Okay. Hey master, do you need a power up? I did not realize there was gonna be a skill tree. Okay, interesting. 
for battles. Oh my god, is this more of an RPG than I thought? Set whichever skills suit you best. Okay. Time to head off in search of the truth. Let's solve this thing. I mean, I'm totally down for that. Also, Will things really turn out fine. I where is that goddamn chain? I want to be proven that I am chained to her. For logic reasons. Okay, this feels very Persona-esque. So, this is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hey, if we keep going, will we really get to the truth? Come on, would I lie to you? Yeah, probably. Even the right? Yeah, I music you, too. The deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So, let's go. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. Oh my god! She loves mysteries too! Let's go! You're... What? No, no, you didn't hurt her. Gotta write this down. Replace the mystery line where the path just goes on and on. You can't move on until the scene plays out, so you keep following the path until it does. Oh, I can move the camera just like that. Okay. Uh, so let me. Nope. Huh? That was weird. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. You definitely want to remember this. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, I was gonna go to abilities. Come on, pay attention. Chain master stats will require set a lot of skills. Okay. So memory caps are out of four. Memory cost one. So increase stamina by hundred. Yeah, let's do that. Yes, equip it. And showing me puzzle sequences, remove one solution key Shinigami will barf up. Okay, interesting. Another color words, Mr. Fantastic, make it easier to die. I want to repel. Oh my god, it's this is literally, yeah, no, okay, so I'm used to this kind of abilities, kinda from like Danganronpa. So interesting. Um, combine with Stand By Me One, reasoning dimension is just what covers even faster. Okay, let's do this. that So we'll just do that for right now. All right, so we got we got some stuff. We got some stuff to work with. All right. Oh, I walked right into her ass. Huh? Oh, they made a pet pause. Okay. Okay, this is a little weird, this dungeon. Just gotta let this play out and keep walking, huh? I'm quest of a walk in here. Hey, did something move just now? Oh, that's a cue. A cue? Cue? Is that a monster living in the mystery labyrinth? Not exactly monsters. You are part of the mystery labyrinth itself. They're what materialize the mysteries. You have no intelligence or autonomy. All they do is manifest the mysteries in the labyrinths. Hmm. But since 
Since you are here to defeat mysteries, they're kind of like obstacles. So in other words, they're the enemy. Of course, as a detective seeking the truth, mysteries are your greatest enemy. Sword tile? Ooh, interesting. I thought I gotta fall. Well, am I gonna face one anytime soon? How long do we keep walking? Okay, that's actually kind of cute. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, no! I hate that. Mr. Moneybags, his shadow is what here. The? There are monsters here. That's a mystery phantom. A mystery phantom? What's that? I told you that cues make mysteries materialize, right? Well, if there's someone in the real world trying to interfere with the case, that person also materializes. That's a mystery phantom. Oh, I hate his tongue. Interfering with the case? Hey, doesn't he kind of look like Swank of the Peacekeepers? Although, uh, you gotta admit, he looks very uh, pride friendly right now with all the rainbow colors are tied up in this, then maybe this incident has something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. You. You're the culprit. Oh, God. Huh? Oh, God, he's getting bigger. And badder. Since all the other passengers on the train are dead, you're the only one who could have done the crime. So you're the culprit. That's the truth behind this case. This made me think of uh, Pokemon raid battles. Oh, I can Master, see that. He's trying to frame you to bury the case. If you can't get past this, you can't reach the truth. I thought you, when you said PKM, I thought you meant Pikmin for a second. I was going to say, oh, this is Pikmin? <laughs> what do I do? Oh, boy. Should I just run away? A detective doesn't run from a mystery. You gotta defeat him. Defeat him? How? Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? Is your name truth? Huh? Just say, I am. I am? I, I am. Oh boy. Huh? Oh. Sword time? Oh boy. Oh. 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 Oh, I love the waltz. Uh. Oh! Oh, you tease! Oh, good angle, though. Good answer. Oh. Wait a minute. Huh? Oh! Um! You know, that's the first time I've had to pull out like that. Oh my god, that was hot. <laughs> Holy crap, she fit that whole thing inside her. It's about as big as her body. I call it the Solution Blade. It's a sword with special powers to affect things inside the Mystery Labyrinth. Oh, I wanted her sword. Yeah, yeah, that. Mm, 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 mm. 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 This game is unapologetically horny, and this perfectly suits me. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Use that to boom kill the mystery phantom. Let's do this. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, slow down. Uh, how do I use this? I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Anyway, the damage you take here is nothing to sniff at. It's not like an injury in the real world, but still. Same brain cell, remember? Yeah. <laughs> the more and more your mind realizes you've been hurt here. Oh boy. 
you'll wind up brain dead. It'll be game over. Time to start from the beginning again. Uh, no, we'd start from the save file. No one wants that, so you better be super careful. Come on, pay attention. Trap so slowly in the mystery lab. Make a mistake while facing the master. Stamina will decrease. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting. I flung. Oh, there's my rubber band. Yeah, <laughs> I broke my brain, Shinigami, 100%. You good, game? Oh, Jesus. What the fuck, WWE shit is this? During the recent deathmatch RDM, a mystery fan will attack will well mystery fan will attack master will make statements about the case. Dodge upward down left. Okay. Dodge, dodge, duck, dodge. Getting okay, so damage to move up, down, left, right to avoid it, track it carefully and dodge. Come on, pay attention. Dodge the statement at the very last second becomes a daring dodge. The more daring dodge you make, the bigger bonus you get later. So good shot if you got Don't the you guts. Forget. Most recessful daring dodge is based on the maximum you can dodge in one cycle. Basically there's a cap on how Don't much you can let get. Any shady statements slip by. Inflammable statements give you a chance to counterattack. Statements might contain contradictions. Slash with a solution blade and fight back against the phantoms. To expose the contradiction, you gotta right. pick the right solution, Kate. Right? I get it. This is actually really cool. The key is the ready to set is ready set in the solution blade this time, so find the contradictory flame and slash it. If you slash a statement containing contradiction with the right solution key, you'll destroy it, damage the mystery oh. fan. Picking the wrong key or missing time means taking damage. Just friendly advice for yours truly. Okay, interesting. Oh, this is very persona. You're the culprit behind this case. That's wrong! Honor is I took damage, whoops. No, there's no way I could have done it. I wasn't conscious the whole time because I drank the drugged coffee in the dining car. You probably it's checked my use. system. Your deduction is wrong. Test for your two the talker the image. Over this. Ridiculous! You're the culprit! You knew it was drug. That's how you avoided being knocked out! Hmm. The other detectives were drugged! And you went around killing them all! Nah, uh, uh. Here, I'm gonna look at these real quick. Oh wait, no, yeah, I got the, yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. Confirm, confirm. Bup. A busted. He took the laced coffee and only pretended to drink it. Nah, uh, we have the drink. We have the camera footage. Thankfully. Ha ha. You thought wrong. Zonga's photography footage showed me drinking the coffee. That proves I wasn't faking anything. Cool. Cool. Oh! Wow, he's done for now. Okay. That was quick. Did I defeat it? You did! See? No matter how weak you are, things will turn out fine, as long as I'm here. Can I have your sword again, please? I'd like to go through that sequence again. He tried to frame me as the culprit. 
Guess that's what Amaterasu Corp is doing. They want to set you up and call it a day. That's why the peacekeepers barged in as soon as the train hit the station. They probably planned this. Mm. So they knew what was going to happen. Then the culprit works for Amaterasu? Probably. Or someone hired by them. I mean, Melody talked right. about it before the, the other day. want to hide who did it. So the reason Control Headquarters didn't respond to the emergency calls was because of Amaterasu. Probably. Now that we know what they're aiming for, we're one step closer to the truth. Let's keep this up and unriddle this mystery labyrinth so we can get to the truth. You're awfully casual about this. My life is at stake here. I mean, we're bonded for her forever, so it don't matter. That the mystery labyrinth is the case's mysteries given shape. But what do you do here, Shinigami? Hi, Cassie. Simply put, I'm the one and only cutie that can directly interact with the mystery labyrinth. Oh, I get it. The progress you've made in the mystery labyrinth and solving those mysteries here. Thanks to me. How are you able to do this? I don't know what to tell you. I've always been able to do this, so I forgot how. More importantly, you got drugged and knocked out. You are so pitiful, Master. You didn't stop it from happening. No wonder you're waddling around like a toddler. I thought I was dizzy because I've got this weird ghost thing haunting me. Huh? <laughs> Making a pact with me won't make you dizzy. It just reduces your lifespan by a lot. Oh, you're kidding, right? That's fine. Right? Die young, leave a sexy corpse behind. Mm -hmm. Anyway, who do you think is the culprit, Master? Do you have any guesses? Catboy. Um, if the drinks were drugs in the dining car, the culprit must have been on the train before anyone else. Well, I mean, Melamy did pour the drinks, though. Oh, so then all you have to do is ask around and figure out what order everyone got on board. Oh, wait a minute. You can't, because they're all dead! You aren't taking this very seriously, are you? Hmm. Lol indeed, Haru. Lol indeed. Lol XD. I wish it was kind of more than just one hallway, but I guess it is what it is, huh? Hmm. This place. Whoa. The path is forked in two. Which way should I go? This fork in the path is also a materialized mystery. So Have more fighting. you should know which way to go if you solve it. First, let's clarify what mystery this is exactly. Uh-huh. Uh, how do you do that? Like this. Oh! She got her sight out! She's more Calliope! Huh? Oh! <laughs> blood! Blood! I'm sorry, ma'am. May I please have another? Anyway, take a look. I use the blood of the truth seeker as a conduit to expose the mystery blocking the path. Is that a question? That's the mystery standing in your way. You just need to pick the right path and head on through. Six on the train. It must mean the six master detectives, including me, right? If I don't think the culprit is among the six on the train, then I should take the right path, which says no. But it... How, how else would it work? But if I think the culprit is one of the six on board, I need to take the left path that says yes. Hmm. Which is it? There's only one truth! Questions related to the case are in different forms inside the mystery lab and choose correct answers and take me to the truth! I will take you to the truth, my queen! Let me talk to you, though. Then... Was the cobra among the six master? people or not? Pick the door you think is right. Time to see if inductions are up to snuff, master. I want to drink the goo, though. Uh, I think it's yes. So, 
you think the culprit is one of the six on the train, right? Also, this gives me very Catherine full body vibes too. Do you know what I mean? Like these sequences, like answer this this question will it lead you up further in the path. What do you do in this? Yeah, right. Very Catherine vibes as well. I want to play Catherine full body on stream one of these days and have chat pick my answers. See if chat makes me a real bastard or not. Haha! -ha. So like all the good games in one, right? <laughs> For real. Hey, let's go. You okay, sweetie? Yeah, you're okay. Can I go through now? Oh, you got it right? Not bad at all, master. Oh, another boss battle. Him again. That's a hot waifu you can use. You can fist a sword out of. Mm. Why did I make the wrong choice? It's trying to bury the truth again. Go get him, master. You know, even if this turns out to be like they are the ones for the whole thing, couldn't they just murder me in Minecraft? Cover their tracks, honestly. All right, what what bullets we got? Testimony of two detectives and map. Your deduction is wrong. Okay. Other than the six on the train, you must have had an accomplice. Oh, yeah, confirm. And slash! There we go. This is the truth! That's not the case! Get that tongue away from my wife, who you freak! Use their abilities to prove that only six people were on the train. If it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. But two of them means there can be no mistake. Wrong! Your reasoning is completely off! How so? Alright, what's so we got? Peacekeeper, death report, operation log. What good does that testimony even do? Your accomplice just wasn't there when those two checked! But came aboard after that. So what if the windows don't open? While everyone was knocked out, you secretly stopped the train and let you partner board. Operation log! Question mark hair boner. Yeah! The backup controller's operation log showed that the train never stopped. I mean, you know Haru. I mean, I, I think I'm pretty sure you played Dong and Rampa, or at least you know them. Every main character in in these games has to have a ho a hoge. It's just a staple. They have to, of some kind. And the doors won't open unless the train stops. Exclamation point! Because he's angry. Want to have gotten on during the trip. Let's fucking go. Looks like you're getting the hang of this, Master. You've learned to ruthlessly cut down any who stand in your way. But I just noticed the change of forms, right? I mean, I didn't notice until you said it too. It sounds like I'm the bad guy here. I'm the bad guy. Duh. Hey, I was wondering if the mystery labyrinth is trying to block people from seeking the truth. Wouldn't it reject my answers, even if they're right? Or maybe the questions themselves yeah. could be lies. <laughs> Excuse me. No chance. A mystery labyrinth has no self-will. It can't lie or create things not based on the real-world mystery. This place is a direct manifestation of a mystery. You can always progress as long as you keep solving it. Okay. In that sense, the labyrinth is fair. It won't cheat you. 
I see. That's a relief. Are you playing this all week or switching to other games? Uh... I'll probably do another stream of it this week. See, the thing is, I don't know. I don't know how easy it is to, like, pause in the middle of a mystery. So I want it to be my longer nights. Maybe I'll do it again on Sunday. I don't know. Um, I'll have to think about it. I'm still figuring out my schedule for the week. I do know on Thursday or Wednesday, I want to do more near Automata. Maybe, maybe. Maybe we can play this game on Friday. I'll have to think about it, Haru. Uh, but if I were to do it on a weekday, unless I do it uh, tomorrow night, which I don't think I will be able to. I mean, who knows? Maybe I could sneak in another stream of this during the night tomorrow. Otherwise, it'd be afternoon. I think it only not save in Labyrinth. Okay. Interesting. I'll have to think about it. I definitely want to keep going more than just one stream in this game. But I also have the attention span of a goddamn, like, walnut, so we'll see. By the way, about the culprit being one of the six of you, how could the culprit commit the crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead? I'll figure it out. I'll be nice if there was a sprint option. TV. Another fork in the road. This is how we reach the truth. It reflects how problems are really solved, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. I don't remember it all. You, well, you'll see me more now that I'm not dead to the world and with all the work of issues and vacation. That's good. Hey, Haru, be perfectly honest with you. I was supposed to work tonight, but uh, I, my tummy didn't feel good and I felt like I needed a break. So, <laughs> and then I have the next two days off, work two days, and I have another three-day weekend. So, mm -hmm. that's a mood. Yeah. Yeah. I know, besides my tummy, I know it's, like, frowned upon to take, like, a personal, like, mental health day, but... Whatever, I needed one. And the, the work... I mean... It should be rec more recognizable if you need a mental health day, you know? Especially if you're not doing it, like, too often. You know what I mean? It's, like, a once-in-a-while thing. just need to solve the mystery in front of us. Ah, there she goes murder again. If you go to 40, you 40, yeah. Say. This time yours truly is gonna help you think it through. Just leave all the heavy lifting to your loving mystery labyrinth guide. <laughs> Wait, that'd be a big help. I was about to say... They didn't commit suicide after the crime. They played dead. Come on. I'm still thinking here. Don't choose yet. Huh? Uh oh. Uh... Guess I'll think about the, the opposite door. What? Oh, I got it. Master, leave this to me. This has to be the right answer. Follow me. Hey, wait. Oh. <gasps> Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, she didn't actually show me. There we go! The culprit just played dead. Oh my god, am I chained to her cooch? I have never, ever in my life realized my true calling. 
Why does sprites look like Dong and Rampa or am I still half a Okay, it's made by the same creator, Vinny. Also, hi, Vinny. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Also, why? Why? Every time. There was like a whole little bit where I was like not even doing anything like unsussy. I say one sussy fucking thing and you appear out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, man. You're getting up for work, aren't you, Vinny? Yeah, let me give you a shout out. Never know. I, I don't think it's actually Changer or Cooch. I think it's just the angle right now. Because if they did commit suicide after the crime, they'd be dead right now. Yeah, I mean, they have to be alive. Boop, 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 boop. Uh. There we go, giving shout outs to the knee because they deserve it. I don't oversleep, I'm surprised. Fair. God. I slept so much before I called out. Like, oh, if I didn't call out, I would have had no time to do anything. I was really tired after getting home from work. And that's no fun at all. That's your reasoning? Wait, what's this chain? I told you we share mind and body. The chain is proof of that. Mm. Our relationship can never be broken apart. Hmm. Th th that's terrible. Please, you should consider yourself lucky. You're being haunted by a cutie like me. <laughs> it's like Venice choke hold on me. I'm so <laughs> tired. I pulled you up here so you can walk the rest of the way yourself. You have to sleep soon because you gotta work it for 6 a.m. No, Haru, don't go to work. Stay. Watch me play game. I didn't ask you to do that. All right, continuing the mystery dungeon. So you think this path will lead toward the truth, right? No idea. This is a labyrinth. It's pretty common to encounter dead ends. And then he waddled away, waddle waddle. Whoa, oh! Out. Then he almost died, waddle waddle. You see, what did I tell you? Dead end. Don't sound so proud of yourself. You chose this path, Shinigami. Hmm. If it's a dead end, maybe the culprit wasn't just playing dead. I searched all five bodies, and they were, without a doubt, dead. So the answer isn't play dead. Let's turn back. But you changed your mind already? Exploring all possibilities is an important part of beating a mystery labyrinth. <laughs> I'm so awesome. <sighs> but they didn't play dead. They did not commit suicide. I'm telling you that first body is also the last body we saw. Think, Yuma. Think. <laughs> Oh, we have to fight? Okay. Oh, no. By the way, I did say I can guide you through the mystery labyrinth. I have been so traumatized from Genshin. Every time I see someone floating like that, I think of Paimon. That is fair. That is 100% fair. But I'm not that good at solving mysteries. I kind of think that, too. You could have said that a little earlier. I just want to help. I like when you rely on me, Master. Anyway, what's going on in the real world while we're in the mystery labyrinth? Time has stopped on the other side. We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. Yeah, that was kind of obvious. You're still surrounded by peacekeepers. Oh, so as soon as time stops, they're just going to straight up murder me because they're not going to listen to a damn word I say. So if we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. Well, I mean, why would they even listen to you? If they're trying to cover up the murders that happened on this train, why wouldn't they just add one more body to the pile if there really are the law around here? As a result, this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious crime. Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive. And that creates an even bigger problem. Which is... Leaving a case unsolved means that it will go down in history that way. The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest. And the more people rack their brains about that mystery, the bigger the mystery labyrinth gets. I mean, it'll be fine. I mean, I'm sure Redditors and people on the internet will solve the murder if we don't. I mean, there's so many, so many internet detectives 
then honestly, it only takes, like, a short amount of time for something to be solved online. Eventually, the Mystery Labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. Just post it on Reddit! They'll figure it out. Plant insidious ideas into people's minds, creating more murderers and, in turn, new mystery labyrinths. Labyrinths can create endless cycles. That's why it's best to cut it off as soon as possible. It sounds way more daunting than I thought. Oh, also, Vinny, add one more game to the pile of things I need to finish on stream. The other route is commit suicide after the crime. There's no other option, so it has to be the right answer. No, it's not. Hmm. I'm willing to bet money it's not the right answer. Let's solve this thing. Sure, I know the answer. Now get to it. No. Use the scythe on me one more time, because it's going to be a wrong answer. Oh, What's this room is shiny. After the crime would mean after killing the other four, the culprit killed himself, right? Is that really the right answer? It is not the right answer. The labyrinth's roots represent logical deduction. If there's only one root, then it's the only possibility. I think the only option left is the culprit off himself. We just need to find that suicidal pest. To be honest, when I read when I read the title, I thought you were playing the purple and blue space girl thingy you played last time until I saw the sprites. Oh, uh, circle soul hackers. Yeah, no, no, I I've been meaning to continue that one too, but finding the right time for it. I don't know, there's something about Soul Hackers 2 that isn't intriguing me as much to play right now. However, I love mysteries, so this game was gonna be something I want to play for a while. What's going on here? Oh! This is part of the mystery materializing. You just need to solve it. Huh? Oh! Okay, so we're Indiana Jonesing it now. Come on, concentrate, concentrate. Whoa, whoa. Who's the last person to die during this incident? Okay. The culprit. No. Oh shit! I hit the wrong button. We, we're gonna crash. Uh oh. Oh, Pog. He made a Pog face in death. That's cool. I don't, I don't know why it, it did that. Okay. I didn't press Y. I hit the analog stick. If the culprit committed suicide after the crime, then the last person that died should be the culprit. <laughs> I did that too the first time. No, against the definition of that one meme where they're like playing, <laughs> like playing start a game. No, 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 playing new game. Oh. I will finish games, god damn it! I still think me being on Final Fantasy X with you should count as one of my finished games too. I was there for a whole I'm gonna be there for a whole playthrough. Right, because they wouldn't be able to kill someone else if they off themselves already. Nice work. Come on, let's try again. Who set fire to the dead culprit? The culprit doesn't make any sense, though. Oh, hi, Narek! The person who started the fires must be the culprit. All five burned to death, so the culprit who died last totally burned himself. But you didn't play? Vinny, it's our playthrough. When you beat that behemoth the other day, that was our victory. <laughs> Bugs Bunny Russia meme, our win. Our victory. Our titties. <laughs> Who's the last person to be burned to death? Uh, is it actually gonna have the name? 
Is his name Zanji? No, Apex! God damn it! It's a stupid name! Ugh! Fucking Apex. Ugh. You weren't nearly as distressed as you. Vinny, I won't lie to you. I was... I was distressed for a different reason. I was just trying to stay a goddamn... Wait, wait what? Apex? Wait. Wait. Huh? Silch. Wait. Wait, whose name was Apex then? Did I... This game looks pretty- the game is very pretty narc. I agree with Nugget. <laughs> uh, we sure are to start an anime friendship speech, right? What's his name? Zilch is the kitty boy. Oh, that's right! Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 Okay. Okay, I was so lost in the track, I literally forgot the fucking theory. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, Apex is a thong face guy. I, I I misread the question because it's like, who is the last body you discovered? Oh, Apex. No, no. Yeah, because I'm, I'm full believe the cat boy did this. I'm still running with that theory. Unless this is all just a big prank. <laughs> also, fuck the thong face guy. Yeah, but his body was the last one we found. The victims all burned to death, right? But he was stabbed. But when we first found Zilch in Car One, he wasn't burnt yet. If that's the case, that means he must have burned to death after that. Although everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. All right. So if they all burned to death, then the last one who died could be Detective Four Eyes. I think the culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of how we found their corpses. Mm. I'm irritated because I think I know the answer, but I think... Uh, also, Vinny, doesn't the guy on the left look like he's just wearing underwear on his head? Like, that's a goddamn thong, and you can't convince me otherwise. No, I believe Catboy did it! That or fucking, um, the girl who poured us strings. I don't know why I can't remember her name. Melem, whatever. It has to be one of those two. It's not the old guy. How? I don't think he killed himself. Because why would the first, why would the last body we find also have a stab wound that matches the cat boy? I'm getting annoyed. Starting from car five, he killed them in order one by one, then set himself on fire in car one. Are we subjecting 8-bit to brain games? I'm subjecting myself because I love mystery games. Like, oh my god, when I played through the entire Danganronpa franchises, mmm, those were some of the best things ever. I would drink, I'd drink a bang, like energy drink, and I'd just go to town doing a full court trial. Just be like, mmm, I know it, I know it, I bet it's this. You almost beat the Labyrinth, so you'll know soon. Oh, shit, we're almost done with it already? So, Detective Four Eyes is without a doubt the culprit, but he committed suicide, huh? Hmm. The, the door! Oh, it opened. Okay, come on now. Come on now. Whoa. Uh, excuse me. See, I told you it would be fine. I'm such a terrific guide. You are. Yeah. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country never looked that good, right? God, I could I could not play Donkey Kong Country. I tried. I'm so thing? bad. I guess that's everything. Seems easier than I thought. 
No. Nah. What's wrong, Master? This doesn't seem right. I'm wondering if that's really all that happened. Something about this seems off. Yes! Good, Yuma! Good! It does? You think so? Oh, here we go again! Ah, what's going on? Zilch the killed the other four that survived. Is this the truth behind the case? Oh, I thought the word I thought the fucking I thought the, the word other was wearing glasses for a second. I'm the same, Josh and Ryla have the same uh, brains that are programmed for it. I swear I I just I tried, I tried, I'm I, I suck at it door. so bad. No other options. Maybe this really is the end. Kind of a simple conclusion despite five people dying. Well, I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you, Master. This? Wait. Mm. Mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real world case, including things like misdirection, right? Which means this could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead us. So, you don't think this is the truth? What makes you say that? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. If so, then this door could be a fake. How can we tell? If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. And I won't tell you exactly what will happen. I don't want to affect your judgment. You've already affected my judgment. I guess the only way to find out is to destroy it. How do I do that? Have her puke up a sword again. No, fucking destroy this door. This is not the right answer. So it was fake. It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail. All right, I'm willing to bet money. This is not the right answer. Uh oh. <sighs> you said it just quit while. Oh wait, no, I was right. Okay, fuck this guy. It's rare for a fake exit to appear. This mystery labyrinth is way tougher than I thought. Master, don't let your guard down. Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead. I promise I'll show mercy. Hehe. <laughs> All right, you money grubbing motherfucker. I'll fight you to death. I was real pants though. <laughs> Fair. Good instinct. Thank you, Narik. All right. Back to dodging words. <laughs> Like, I'm dodging taxes. That's a joke. Please don't come for me. I wonder if Master can even make snap judgments. Mystery fans sometimes throw out noise. It'll stretch your vision again the way, so use Master's little bitches to cut Are them down. The more noise destroyed, this? the bigger bonus you get. <laughs> so, okay. Sure, you got all that down. All right. The culprit must be Zilch! Ah! The reason is obvious. Zilch is the only one who could have done the crime. Ah, shit! I was wrong? Mm -hmm. So that knife, does it somehow just prove Zilch's involvement? After killing everybody, he stabbed himself a knife to set himself on fire, That's really? Right. Yeah, that can't be right. Oh, damn it. The culprit must be Zilch! There we go. All right, I forgot there could be more than one of those. Yeah. No. I had the right answer. I just hit the wrong one. I got too trigger happy. No. Now that I think about it, Zilch's suicide by fire doesn't make sense. Yeah, why would he stab himself? Do you know that 8-bit likes to get attacks right? No! Don't say that, Yorick! I am a tax-paying femboy through and through. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because when I saw Zilch through the window, there was a knife in his chest. And a cap in his ass. If he burned himself, then why would there be a knife stuck there? You little brat. Fine. I'll answer you. 
Blood stays on Terry Lock, coffee and dining car. Knockout drug makes a unit pass out during this. It's potent enough to render anyone unconscious. I have uh, bonk me. Okay, the blood has nothing to do with this. Okay, so. Coffee in the dining co Coffee? Knife stuck in the body? Uh, of course I know why. Huh! Ooh, I got a bonus point. He was to knock himself out. Wait, why would you stab yourself and knock yourself out? God damn it. I should have got that the first time. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, Narek. If his plan was to fall unconscious, he would have used the drugged coffee in the dining car. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I could sure use a nap. Snipe! That's a much easier way to pass out. Okay, well, we fucked him up. <sighs> yeah, about to be done with the labyrinth, my asshole. I see. So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. Yeah. Haru's trying to mislead this femboy. Right. The peacekeeper said all the detectives burned to death. But Zilch's corpse in the first car is different. I know, you didn't say I was done yet. I was almost done. <laughs> we killed him with logic. Yeah, that's you, fair. It looked more like he was stabbed to death. So the peacekeeper's report was a lie? But they had no reason to do that. If they wanted to set you up as the culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. Yeah, you're right. They all must have died by fire, after all. And for some reason, only Zilch appeared to have been stabbed to death. I get it. So that's what was bothering me. But no matter how hard I think about it, I can't seem to figure out what happened next. Huh? Why's that? I don't have enough clues about Zilch in the first car. I should have investigated it more after discovering the body, but I was too preoccupied with calling for help. So we're stuck right here. I don't see any other routes to break through this mystery. I don't even know what mystery we gotta solve right now. But I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. You wish you had investigated more, right? So, you think you'd have the answer if you'd done that? Huh? Yeah, maybe. Oh, fine. My secret weapon is so draining, I try to avoid I knew it! As much as possible. Time travel! I just love it when you rely on me, Master. I have a bad feeling about this. What are you trying to do? This is all for you, Master. Uh. Ready, Master? Oh. Uh, Wait. Oh. oh, she is perfect. Time to let her fist you, right? Oh, we can reinvestigate the room! Let's go! So we're using my memories. Oh, lockbox mystery. Okay. Oh, that's actually pretty neat. What's going on? Uh-oh. Now he's got cuckoo birds around his cocoa head. I'm extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery labyrinth. This is my super cute special weapon. See, if you investigate here, you might make some new discoveries. Oh, the shock from all this is making my head spin. 
Poor guy. You don't have any time to waste, Master. This was pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around for long. You have until the pain in your head clears up. Now hurry and investigate. Got it. I'll hurry. <laughs> Wish she would punch me like that, right, Spicy Pickle? Also, what's up? What's up? How you doing? I'll be on a fantastic day. Oh, crime scene recreation. Oh, God. Hey. There should be new info inside. This won't hold out for long. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. I was trying to talk to the cushion. Huh? This, this cushion? Was it always there? Aha! He stabbed the pillow first. Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. It was made by something sharp. What did this? A knife? Just woke up? Hey, yo, we got a lot of people just waking up. Oh, so I can get solution keys here, too. You may have seen it, but forgotten. That just means you didn't think anything of it at the time. Hmm. But it is in your memory, so you can use it as a clue. You can do that? You're incredible, Shinigami. Ah. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Burn blanket. This blanket is mostly burned, but some parts near the knife are unscathed. It doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. But how could that be? Because it wasn't him! He hid in the closet. You know, I thought in the beginning of this game, all oh, the detectives it's fading. were going to be able to show off their abilities, but man, this game really threw me for a curveball. I guess the pain is starting to go away, too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find anything? Yeah, I think I see the contradiction here. Although I'm not completely sold on it. Come on, this is where you're supposed to declare, I've solved the mystery. Well, if you think you're on the right track, then I guess we should do this next. Do what? It's for when you're stuck in your deductions. Remember what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. So even when you're stuck, there's always a way out. You get more cares and more powers, Oh. And we're gonna find it by working together. Working together? All right, I'll whip it out. <gasps> Wait, oh, the barrel game, huh? I just remember this from the trailer. Oh, we're at the beach. Oh, hi. We gotta insert the keys in her? Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Uh, the Shinigami puzzle is one of my secret techniques to uncover the hidden truth. The truth is hiding somewhere in the letters of the side of the barrel contain yours truly. Read the question, then knock out the letters in the right order and make a mistake, the time will be reduced. If you can knock the letters in the right order, I'll be imbued with the power of truth and leave a special move that open up a path. But if you need solution keys for around the barrel, I'll give you whatever hint comes to mind. Grab the key and bring it to my Don't mouth. Forget. But there's some solution keys you can't get hits from. If I eat one of those, time will be reduced. Look at the holes where you make them. Okay. Try to solve it. Look at his foot. Today's those death was actually a red herring. Okay, so. Uh. I want to feed her. Is that all she's? Was he really stabbed? <laughs> yeah, you gotta shoot the letters. Nice. Oh! 
Oh, this is quite excellent. God, it'd be nice if this thing went faster. I want to actually spell out the right letters. Oh, wait, can I shoot D? Or do I have to go in? No, I have to go in order. God damn it. Okay. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, hang on. We'll get to it in a second. Excellent. Oh. There she goes. Oh, my God. God damn. This is so much better than Danganronpa. That's right. When I saw Zilch through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in his chest. Man, I like beach days, right? Right? That's why Vinny's debut was so good. <laughs> but in actuality, he stabbed the blanket-wrapped cushion to make it look like he had been stabbed. I look away one second and she wears a bikini. Honestly, Vinny, she is unapologetically horny throughout a lot of this so far. And it's been, it's been a delight. That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it, even though the cushion was stabbed through. Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. Uh-huh. All right, so what's in the chest? Oh, oh okay, all right. It's a new solution key. If it was a red herring, that means he wasn't really dead. Uh-huh. Yeah, Zilch was faking his death to fool us. That knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when I looked through the window. But the Peacekeeper's report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction. So the culprit was just playing dead. It's exactly what I said. In a roundabout way, yes. Which means that dead end in the abyss could have a new path now. Let's hurry back. Ah, oh, damn it. It better not make me walk all the way back. Where is a sprint button when you need one? Huh? Oh my god. Now this is a shame. Uh, uh. What's wrong? It's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there. I don't want to walk anymore. Okay, so she's like me right now. Some guy you are. Besides, you're not even walking. I despise effort and hard work. I want to head back the easy way. Oh, I know! I have a convenient transportation method, thanks to my awesomeness. It lets us go anywhere you've been before. Now is the perfect time to use it. Zoom, Eva- Huh? What does this mean? Okay, let's go evac? A mysterious force is blocking you from casting this spell. Uh. What the? That spell will let you escape from within a labyrinth, but you can't use it inside the mystery labyrinth. Yeah, like the difficulty didn't matter. I was like, what the hell? Anyway, time to pick- Ch Sure. Oh. Okay, that was simple. See? Super easy. Yeah, sure. But unfortunately, using it does drain a little bit. Drain a little bit of what? Do you have MP or something? Your lifespan. Ah! My lifespan? Again? So we passed through how did the culprit pull it off junction and have taken the play dead turn again. Now that we have a new solution key, I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. 
Let's give it a try. Man, if I wasn't hanging out with a friend tomorrow, I'd be playing this game. <laughs> tomorrow, too. Maybe on Tuesday. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important, too. We're gonna expose the truth together! Toto, what's up, what's up? How you doing? It'll be a fantastic day. I know you because of bats. Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. Mm -hmm. I didn't oversleep or miss the train, but at what cost? Are you super tired, Vinny? A bridge. Do you, does the cow need the gold that Betty buys? would appear. It's all because we found the right deductive clue to break through. I'm so amazing. You can pat me on the head if you want, Master. Okay. I'm doing good just at work. Oh, I'm sorry you're at work, though. I hope you get off soon. How am I? I'm good. Oh my god. So, Juan, uh, I'm gonna be, I'll be real with you real quick. Um, I almost blocked you on Twitter. <laughs> on accident because your name had so many numbers on it and i'm so used to so many spam accounts following me with like a bunch of numbers on the end i was like oh come on but i recognized you because of bats so that was very lucky <laughs> i would have felt so bad i'm so glad i did not I forced myself to sleep at TNM and woke up like every hour. Aw, oh, that sucks. I could see Nugget at a furry con. Time to go to furry. Oh my god. I am so sorry. I did it. it. Listen. I didn't block you. I didn't block you. I'm so sorry. I almost did one. I'm so sorry. Also, I mean, would I attend a furry con? I mean, I'd go check it out. I don't know if it'd be my cup of tea, but I would, I'd go check it out. Also, what are VTubers if not furries? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Wait, I'm about to go there in game? Well, maybe later. What do you mean? What's about to happen? We opened the plague dead root thanks to the corpse red herring solution key. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. I'm sorry, Juan. <laughs> if so, he is Oh wait, there's cows! Now there's cows! Prove it. Yo, Vinny, there's cows! We, we we just went by cows! Now it's butterflies, but there were cows! There were moomoos! Nego's Furcon comes home, decked out in his Sonic X Shadow merch. I don't need to go to Furcon for that. <laughs> it's okay, little honestly, I made my Twitter account when I was 12 and never used it, so I just made it into my VTuber account. That's fair. That's 100% fair. But even if the Mystery Labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the real world will be different, right? Oh, more Moo Moo's! Um. Honestly, I need fucking, uh, I keep seeing clips from the recent Sonic show on Netflix that keeps, like, shipping Sonic and Shadow, and I'm like, hmm. 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 What if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it? Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Huh? Why's that? Let's save the fun for later. You're on Twitter.com when you're 12, you poor so right? Oh my god. I didn't start Twitter really in earnest. I think until the pandemic <laughs> came around. And I started following VTubers. Oh, the ground! It's falling apart! Uh-oh. You better run, Master! 
Why? Wasn't this the right route? Maybe the logic still has some holes in it. Your message delayed because you're in a train? That's okay. Is she choking me? Did she just break my neck? Or did she just possess my body? What was y Yuma saw through the window actually zilch? Yes. When I saw zilch through the window, he was faking his death with a knife through the cushion. Okay, I can actually look at my chat now. Never used it though. I made it tall, but I started using it this year. Oh, fair, fair. I started using Twitter off in like 2018. That was one year after Facebook was not cool anymore. Oh. So I mean, we roughly all started using Twitter around the same time. That was definitely the real Zilch. Spring course in car one actually Zilch. No. Absolutely not. Corpse I investigated was real. It just wasn't Zilch's corpse. In other words, Zilch swapped himself out for a real corpse. Wait, was I wrong? Fuck! Wait. You want Yuma's shoes? They are light up. This is the corpse in the infirmary. Before Yuma entered. Oh, okay. Okay, I. The corpse was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. Oh, that's what it meant. Okay, my bad. Okay, I I thought it was asking like when he first saw them. Like he switched out oh, whatever. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so I couldn't make anything out through the window. Zilch used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. What games do I normally play? Uh, I play a variety. Uh, currently, I'm in a near Automata run. Uh, I like to play a lot of Persona games. I like Pikmin. I love Pikmin right now. I play a Mario. Also, I play a little bit of everything. Ranging from Minecraft to Fortnite to Persona to Soul Hackers to Zelda to Xenoblade. I, I, basically, a bit of everything. God, he's so short. I get it. The fire wasn't only there to show he died from burning. It was also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse. Right. In the smoke, he switched places with a corpse he had hit. Uh-oh. Oh, God, we're going to Persona 4 land. We're just entered a TV. Sweet, let's go to the... Let's go to the... Shadow Realm. Next up, you need to deduce where the corpse was hidden. Because the room was filled with smoke, he needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. I mean, she's floating. She's a much taller. Right. You weren't here earlier in the stream, Vinny. He is literally shorter than, like, every other character we have seen, though. Like, everyone is taller than him. Not just her. Where are you thinking? Oh, except for one girl that was like the same size as him, but still much smaller than everyone else. Short kings unite! If he needed to get to the body as quickly as possible, only one place makes sense. The closet. What was this suspicious? Better search every nook and cranny. Master doesn't make mistakes, right? right. I like short kings, but he isn't right. your type. You haven't seen him with his detective hat yet, though. We haven't gotten that yet. Oh. So, underneath the bed, then. Here. Nice, we love variety streamers. That's Thank it. you. The burnt corpse was hidden right there. Oh, bucket hat, my bad. And Vinny, you like bucket hats. What the hell? 
Why are they? Uh, where are they taking me? Hey, I was watching that program. Jeez, one after another. This is really bad for my heart. I prefer dark-haired short kings without a bowl cut. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the bowl cut part. I'll give you the bowl cut part. <laughs> oh my god. Shinigami, you might be fine because you're floating around, but this is really tough for me. This fucking little legs can't keep up. I can't believe it. He had the corpse hidden under the blanket? Oh my lord. So, that four-eyed detective was sleeping next to a dead body. That's not that bad. I'm so jealous. Never mind, she's into it. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Ooh, TV. <laughs> oh my god. Bed with the corpse. He got up once the smoke it's like <laughs> It's like a fucking training the video from work. The out of the cushion and stabbed it. <laughs> oh my god. Way, even after he switched with the corpse, it's so he could stupid just hide looking. to avoid me. Where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? It must have been someplace with easy access, which must mean the bed. Under the bed, he could have quickly hid there. Which means, if you checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught that four-eyed idiot. But back then, I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. I'm sure he calculated all that, too. He knew I'd panic. What is my bio? I love it. Wait, what is my bio? Honestly, I haven't updated my Twitch info in a while. I probably should do that. What the fuck is my bio? Uh, my channel. I'm 8-Bit, the chicken nugget VTuber, trying to survive in this big world wanting to make everyone happy in a non-meal way. Hmm. Oh, I don't know if that really applies anymore, because now that I'm a femboy, I don't mind people trying to eat me as much. Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning, and that's why he let you live. Oh! I also got a response. I need to uh, message someone about a new anime emote because I saw an animated emote on Twitter that's like a little like kissing one, giving like a little like smooch, and I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I want to commission that. Yeah, I think Zilch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary, so he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. You meant about the about me? Oh, with like my Twitch panels? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I actually liked how I wrote those. <laughs> Unfortunately, my stream schedule isn't as accurate anymore. I passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans, so he went with it. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Yeah, he must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. Aha! I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Not bad, Master. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memories. No. If I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. I guess so. By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? Man, you gotta go to bed, Haru. You don't need to go to bed. You need to watch me finish. Yeah. Have fun with the rest of the chapter, Nuggy. Check Discord later. Oh, okay. Haru, real quick. Just real quick, for round sake. Am I nearing the end of this trial? <laughs> May I get a little nibble? I mean... Only if you're good. Yes, you are. Okay, I'm nearing the end. All right, because goddamn. Is that corpse? Well, um... Oh, here he is. He's back. I won't let you go any further. <laughs> Getting in our way again, huh? If you stand against my ruthless master, 
will chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner. Oh, she is talking way out of her ass with this one. But you gotta beat the furry conus first. Oh boy. Not. Okay. Yeah, we gotta beat that furry before this match is over. I haven't met him yet. Ah. Master, I'm lending you a hand from here on out. I'll assist you when you're in a pinch. Oh, okay. Can I assist? It's the rule of the mystery labyrinth to assist whoever you're accompanying. Now let's go, Master. Well, Haru, if you need to go to bed, I won't blame you. I hope you have a good night, good, good buddy bye sleep. You think after this battle? Okay, cool. All right, so we're getting close. Oh, looks like you might not need assist after all. You a good boy? Okay. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. If you keep acting like a good boy. What the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, an annoying person. Oh god. I'll talk to you later. How good night, Haru? Alright, so I will help you. Oh, okay. All right. It's a boss. That's what this is, Vinny. Night, night. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you for the head pants. Wait, shit. I didn't pay attention to what I have. Okay, go to Apex's corpse. You think he swapped with a corpse? Wrong one, damn it. Oh yeah, no one redeemed first in the door. Oh hi, 07 dumb. Oh shit! Wrong button. That wasn't right. It would have been down at the station. It'd be impossible to get it on board. There was no corpse to replace anyway. Wrong! Haha, I gotcha! Why is it like Techno Clown became a wrestler? I mean, honestly, yeah. You should see him IRL. He's a one, like, disturbing looking bastard. He just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. Hi, Dumb. How you doing? Hope you had a fantastic day. Or night. It's Apex's body from the fifth car. At a butt of punk emo too, right? He also looks like someone who would definitely be at a pride parade. He and Zilch are just because all the rainbow eyes. colors. It would match so well. Stab wounds in their chests. So the corpse that was switched was Apex's. God, I hate the name Apex's. I keep wanting to say Apex. Could someone like you find the truth? <laughs> truth. Hi, <laughs> <Hey>, Cassie. <laughs> he looks completely obliterated. I saw him bought from an ice cream truck for the first time ever. Ooh, what kind of ice cream did you get? Did you get the Sonic ice cream anymore. or SpongeBob? Hi, Cassie girl. He was out of those? Aw, oh, boo. Yeah, sour one? Uh, boo. I say boo because I do not like sour. Wow. Who would have thought that short tempered idiot would be used for a body swap? Thinking back, the reason the corpses in the first and fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Aphex. That must be what the necklace was for, so I could identify him. Well, reusing a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? He totally went green. 
I mean, we gotta recycle everything in our day and age, so you gotta get the most value out of corpses too, you know? Hmm. Wait a minute. Did I ever change the stream category to this game? Zilch? Oh, Furry Boy's alive. Okay. Uh, did I ever do that? I did! Okay, we're good. Okay, for some reason I thought I forgot. Hi, Cassie. I am not the culprit. Oh god, Cassie, are you okay? That was a lot of fur that just came off your tail. Nugget, check what I send you on Twitter after stream. It's perfect for you. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I will definitely will do that. I am a victim who was already killed. Okay. Also, Vinny... This is a goddamn actual detective cat boy. I liked him so much, but now he's the killer. So, leave me alone. Hey, he ran away. After him, master. It, yeah. You said the body in the first car's infirmary wasn't me, but Apex. But you gotta head back to, to car work. Five after car one. How a go one? I how a go one one. Ma 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 ma. Transported from car one to car five. That'd require moving past you. That's right. If he slipped past us, when did that happen? He'd be hot if he lost the furry hat. Honestly, I think those are his actual ears. <laughs> Just given how this game is, he's a master detective that can speak to animals. That's like his power. Also, Cassie, you are... Are you okay, baby? You're losing a lot of fur. I'm gonna pet you. Oh, he's gonna be super furry. I'm... Yeah, he's gonna turn into a real furry, isn't he? Oh, the train's cute. Oh, he gone. Are you kidding me? We're still not fighting him yet? Also, ooh, this is actually pretty pretty, though. You hate your mess to be so delayed? Oh, it's okay. I can't read it backwards. Another mystery that needs to be solved. He's fighting the wolf within himself like those TikTok memes. <laughs> I love that. He had to have moved through the trick. No, he had to! How else would he move the body? Thinking about it rationally, we have to assume that they carried the corpse through the train. No. That's impossible. Impossible. Impossible! Impossible. Um... Impossible, 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 impossible! Oh! Oh, he went full furry. Okay, but... Ah, this still just turned into a mystery phantom. Can I say I actually dig it, though? Like, all, all black, little spikes, like, tight outfit is one thing. But the little hint of purple, and oh my god, yeah, he... No, th th this is genuinely attractive. Still, I mean, like, cool design, still murder, though. Oh, 
Suddenly your pants got tight. Oh, pickle. A body can't get from car one to car five. Just think about it. The train's arms are quite narrow. He looks like the pink haired mechanic dude from Danganronpa. Well, now you ruined it. Now you ruined it. <laughs> the corpse is heavy enough as it is. Lugging a corpse through that hallway. You would certainly have noticed. That means your deduction is all wrong. I'll say it once more. I mean, I would say I would, but I say it's, it's pretty... It's not a bad... Compared to the last one, anyway. That's true. Plus, when we investigated the private rooms, we kept the doors open for security. If someone had passed through the hallway, I probably would have noticed. They would have had to sneak past me, too. If we're certain nobody... Then the corpse must have been brought in from outside the train, not inside. If so, the culprit would need to be able to pass by us without being noticed. What are you mumbling about? Just admit that your deductions were utter nonsense. They're not. He used the blackout. I know that's the case. How is that the Rooney factor? I... I mean, it... Because of the personality. You think a corpse was brought in from outside? The windows are all locked shut. That's a true statement. The door's locked when the train is moving. We know the train never stops once. There's oh shit, I got hit. And doors are shut. There's no way to get out while the train is moving. Your phone's at 69%. Nice. No issues occur during the train's operation. Liar! Liar! Even if you oh, come on! I had it right there, you son of a bitch! could not get in. I actually had it right there. The train. Can you think the corpse was brought in from outside? The windows are all locked shut. Damn it. The doors locked when the train is moving. We know the train never stopped once. If the windows and doors are shut, there's no way to get out while the train is moving. No issues occur during the train's operation. You are oh damn it! I missed it again. I actually hit the analog stick. At least I have a shield. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know which one it is. Damn it! If they didn't pass through the train, did you think the corpse was brought in from outside? I'm being a silly little guy without meaning to. The doors locked when the train is moving. We know the train never stopped once. The You're almost at the officer fearing what's waiting for you? Shot. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no way to get out while the If you're having a bad day at work, you know you could always message me. No issues occur during the train's operation. Oh, uh, hit it, hit it! Even you! Damn it! Out, a body could not get in. I almost had it. Ah! Uh, I'm so bad at moving in this minigame. Did you think a corpse was brought in from outside? The windows are all shut. The doors locked when the train is moving. We know the train never stopped. At least stopped. I can fast forward this. If the windows and doors are shut, there's no way to get out while the train is moving. Bye bye, have a good day at work, the name. Ma 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 ma. Operation. This is the truth. My cousins love you. Ma 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 ma. Ma. Have a good one, Vinny. Try to. No, there was something strange. The blackout and shaking that happens when I was in car two and car four. Uh. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. Don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Okay. Forget the shaking and the blackout. They were nothing but coincidences. 
The blackout was just a bad contact. The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's no oh, shit. about that. It's all Gentle just swing. A Damn it, pants. It's impossible <laughs> to include that in a criminal plot. Come on. No. Forget the shaking and the blackout. Yeah, back contact confused me there, but it is what it is. No, the blackout didn't occur because of a connection failure. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. Control system I manage the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it switches the backup after one second. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. <laughs> There's the train! Hey! He ran away! A fleeing phantom is a bad phantom! Is there such a thing as a good phantom? After him! You gotta keep solving the mystery and boom kill that mystery phantom! Yeah, how many times do we have to do this? Uh, hey! God damn. I feel like I'm playing a very long Dong and Rumpa class trial, which is basically what this is. Master, you may know the cause of the blackout. But what does that have to do with how the corpse was moved? The failed main control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm. It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how, huh? In that case... Oh, there he goes! Ah! Oh! I knew it! A mystery is blocking you! Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let's solve it to keep on going. Ha! <laughs> Murder. Never gonna get used to that, huh? Joseph's lost when so car this one is was. The, question we're facing right now. the main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved. Then how? Hmm. Master's expression is so serious. He must be thinking hard. Well, as his mentor... I am I thinking hard think throughout this too. game. <laughs> Main control system failing. The blackout? The train shaking? Oh, yeah! Why did the train shake like that? There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel that was caused by the main control system failing. But the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened because... Oh, uh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout too? After the whole train shook, the blackout... Ah, I don't get it. Oh, it's okay. You're trying your best. That's right. The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... Ooh! Did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? Then it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! Let's 
Let's go faster. Lay it all out. Hmm. Oh, another barrel situation. Beach time. Let's go. Eat it, eat it. Was derailed? Damn. Ah, shit. Oh, we lost. All right, we'll redo it. It this is it. I was, oh my god, I would not restart this from the beginning. It is so damn long. Holy crap. Yeah, okay. Master E. The failed, if so. So he must have. But the. So I don't think. Um, but you're. Uh... Ah! I knew it! Anything blocking you. Okay. Detached? Oh, detached. Or so the main control. If that's true, if it's related to the. Hmm. Well, okay, 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 okay. Da 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 da. Sorry. There was a block, but the culprit didn't just. Oh, oh. That's right. The tr whatever it was, it caused them. If it had something. Mm. That it's time to. Beach time. Okay, so it's DE. Let's work together as a team. Okay. Great. That's right. That's from it. Nice. So it is detached. I was gonna say, it wouldn't be hard. Is this an A? Nice. Alright, so yeah, detached. I didn't realize that would, I didn't realize that counted as it was detached. I thought I meant like disabled. Oh, I saw feet. Nice. You can do it, master. And it's this one. Yep. What? How does that not work? Wait. What? What even? Oh, that's so stupid. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. I'm so stupid. What? Third time's a charm, right guys? Third time's a charm. Oh, I'm gonna reward myself with such a thick brownie after this. Master, you failed if so. So he must have. But the. So I don't think he broke the system to. Um, what? Hmm. But you're unsure exactly. Bah! Bah! I knew it! A miss Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. So let's. Ah, la, 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 la. I'm so sorry, guys, that we have to see this for a third time. But I say it was so more time you can spend with your favorite femboy. Hmm. Well, 
well as his main could oh yeah there is a boy but the oh ah! that's right whatever it was it caused the main if it had something to no! did i bet it's time let's go back Be nice if I could fast forward the barrel. Nice lay, nice, Daisy Dukes, make the boys go whoop whoop. Okay, that, that was such bull in tricking me like that. Me not knowing how to spell. How dare. How dare. Nice. It'd be cool if she changed swimsuit colors too. Maybe per trial. Could it be that the first car was separated from the train? Huh? Separated? What? Seriously? Yeah. The reason why the main control system failed was because the first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Let's keep going for now. Yeah, because when I heard, like, detached, I think it was, like, actually... Fully detached, not like connected, like server-wise. You Thank you. Cut off. The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Huh? Did it just shake? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. At that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. As a result, the main control system failed. And after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. But why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Of course, to move the body in the train car. To do that. Watch out! Ah! Gah! It is again! It's bigger than ever! How much longer will this keep happening? I feel like I'm going to suffocate. Now is not the time to be suffocating! <laughs> okay. You can never be suffocating. The buyers transport along with the you entire need to the mystery at hand. Given that the first car Bed. was cut off so that the body could be moved. Right. I think I see what happened. Seems it's like bad. It. Let's do this. Play it all up, master. It has to be bad, right? Cuz that would explain that one flip mattress from before. Yeah, there it is. Try to solve it, lickety split. I was wrong. <laughs> okay. Great. Transport along with the entire car? Huh? Okay, maybe I don't understand this either. At least it's different posts every time. the whole That's car right. he transported the corpse using the entire first car that's why the first car was disconnected how does that make sense transported the corpse with the entire car i i genuinely don't get it oh god he's more of a furry now that ain't falco the first car is at the front of the train. 
Aphex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Even if you detach the front car, how do you move it all the way to the rear? Uh, um... Wait, the map? The, the train map? Maybe there's branching paths? Master, don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. Calm down. Stay calm. Think. How could you swap the position of the first and fifth cars? If I can answer that, I can solve this mystery once and for all. How did it happen? That reminds me. Master, earlier when you were talking about the shaking and mentioned the blackout? The blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. When it reconnected. So yeah, the branching pass. Yeah, Th I'm banking that's what it two is. Two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel and right after leaving it. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? When I reconnected. Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity. Master, here it comes. You've got to solve the mystery and defeat him. Oh, I will. Your deductions aren't worth a damn because they're all wrong from the very beginning. But he was so nice. <laughs> Another WWE match. Let's go. It's route map. Jump twice near the tunnel. What up? Yeah, there could have been time. Yeah, splits into two lines before entering the tunnel. Yeah, there it goes. Yep, that's the right answer. You mean the train car was separated? Connected? Why would that even matter? Even if you managed to separate car one, how could it be moved to the rear? The train was always running on the same tracks. Liar. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. Gotcha, bitch. No. At that time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel so by taking advantage of the double tracks it's possible to switch out the train cars haha <laughs> 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 gotcha bitch and was that the final one The first oh, more time TV. the train trip was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separating. After that, the separated car one entered the other track, while the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. The two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. This is when the train shook for the second time. You're right! First car moved all the way to the back! <laughs> Haha! <laughs> no words, bird boy! Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own. But the Amaterasu Express is special. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. If each train car can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own! Doesn't that solve everything? No! That's crazy! <laughs> Unbelievable. He's gone sicko mode. Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end, which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. So, 
You're telling me you found Apex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? Oh, you're right. Do you mm. get it? You're the one who's wrong. Everything you've deduced is wrong! No, I didn't no, murder them. I'm not wrong. The truth lies just ahead of us. I will prove it to you. Oh, barrel time. Man, another barrel time already. Okay. Wait. Try to solve it lickety split. From the start, was a six car train? No, then it was a five car train. Oh, it was a four. Oh, okay. When we got on, it was a four because the fifth one was locked. It was locked because there was no train car attached to it. There we go. Gotcha. Let's go. So small. Maybe the Amaterasu Express doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. <laughs> oh, that's with all the burnt metal and stuff. Huh? So there weren't five cars the whole time, but instead four? That's why Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Aha, Melamy, you so saved us. It wasn't broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the get-go? Mm -hmm. I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. So the train took off with only four cars. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. And when I was questioned by the peacekeepers, the car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot. Damn. If the real car one was waiting at the station's platform, then all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it. So they were all in on it. Mm -hmm. Or you can assume that the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car one. <laughs> if there was another car one, then there will be something that sets it apart from the original car one. For example, the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary will be different from how I broke it. You mean when you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window? Uh-huh. So they knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? Yeah. I think I was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot in the hallway. They wanted me to use it to break the window. Yeah, that was a little weird that it wasn't just hanging on the wall. That was a little dumb of them to do. And that's how they pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, cat boy? Silch. Or I guess you'd say bird brain. <laughs> Did he flee again? All right. We're almost there. Let's oh my culprit. god. I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy this is a long stream. God damn, I thought we were almost done. was a pretty solid deduction. <laughs> Very impressive. Of me for seeing your potential. Uh, of course. It's so strange. It doesn't feel like I'm learning this stuff. More like I'm remembering it. It's all natural. Maybe I was even a high-ranking detective in the WDO. There's no time for bragging. You still gotta catch him. Right. Let's, oh, why was that line so much louder than the rest of his lines? That was silly.
The final staircase, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's finish off this guy. What final animal is he going to turn into? Ooh, that's actually a pretty cool set piece. Everything feels different here. This is just the calm before the storm. Be careful. You don't know what's going to happen next. You know, making the first car look like the fifth was a really big trick to pull off. I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Even the trick with the swapping train car? Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. That's what I'm worried about. Even if I obtain the truth here, won't they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? That's what I've been saying. I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Why are you so sure of that? There you go. See, I was worried they weren't going to even have time to listen to all the dialogue. What is this? It's a castle. Looks like a fort to me. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. You just have to destroy it. So the truth is here. You can't have the truth. I can't handle the truth. It's impossible to destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave. Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. I'm not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. We gotta do this. <laughs> it's boot kill time! Mm-hmm. Let's do this. At least it auto saved there. Fuck me. If I had to restart all this from the beginning, I would be so depressed. Oh! No longer a castle in the sky. Now it's a castle between my thighs. Wait, what's it do? I thought we were gonna fight the boss, not have to rush through everything. Huh? Oh! <gasps> oh my god, I'm inside her mouth and I've never been happy. Oh, wait, am I gonna... Am I gonna do giant waifu battle? Oh. My. God. Tomo could last stand a phantom, tear through all episodes of mega-sized god, great onset destroyer me. Oh my god. Yes! Let's fucking go! Oh, my controller's almost dead, but I'm piloting a giant woman! Plus, giant iron balls with fanforce corresponding kick. Oh shit! My Joy-Con died. Alright. Oh shit. I got tackle. Haha! <laughs> tackle! Alright, just jump. Alright. Your deduction is wrong! Haha! Fuck you! Haha! Kicked ya! Oh shit! I almost hit the wrong button. Switching the first and fifth cards is just your imagination. It's a completely baseless lie. There's no evidence they ever swapped. Destroy the wall with a solution key. There's even also the even got me can't destroy without a solution key. Okay. The distorted plate. You're wrong. Huh? Come on. Yeah! 
Oh my no, god, piling waifu mech, let's go! From car five. Not as good as car four though. That was a good movie. The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it said car one. Left as it was, it would have messed up your plot to make car one look like car five. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god, how far away are we? I burned the plate to disguise it? No, I didn't do that! Stop it! Stop! Go away! You're not going away! You're going to jail! If it burned, you have no way of knowing what number car it was. <laughs> I love her little run. It's so fucking cute so and dumb. So nothing backing up your deduction. You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car. All right, let's fuck him up for real this time. Looks like we need another solution key to boom kill him. Good luck, master. This hasn't there been an answer yet. The blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car five. The culprit probably didn't notice it. But I remember. It's my blood. Clashing of the Titans. <clears throat> what? When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car one, I cut my finger on the glass. When I reached through to unlock the latch, I must have gotten blood on it. But that bloodstain would have been hidden while the interlock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. Test it, baby! This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. This is the truth of the case! Huh? Oh, this game is so awesome. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I'm playing this again this week, you know, before Sunday. No way I'm not. Maybe I'll do a really early morning stream on Tuesday. Hehe. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> <laughs> suck it, nerd. I'm... Done yet. Yes, you are. What? He's still going? Let us boom kill you already! If car one became car five, then where did the culprit supposedly hiding in the infirmary go? You had to have checked the fifth car, but the culprit wasn't there. Wasn't the bed move a certain way? And again, wasn't there a closet? The culprit must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car. Probably someplace safe. I don't think he was in the restroom, was he? Ah, damn it. Check the restroom, but no one. Here. Aha! Yeah, main control room that we couldn't get in. Well, actually, he could have because it was down now. It broke. The culprit was hiding inside the main control room, which was locked shut the entire time. I didn't have the key, so I could never have gotten inside. I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track. If the train's management company, Amaterasu Corporation, was involved, the culprit may have had the key. That is also a true statement. And then they hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window. That's how they got past me. No, it's not me. <sighs> I'm not the culprit! 
I really do like his eye design in this form. Great detective work. I call Big cool tattoo. He seems like he's barely standing. All that's left is to finish him off. Finish him off? Uh, how do I do that? Shove all hmm. your evidence into the solution blade and slash as hard as you can. Oh boy. Oh, that's an epic cutscene. God damn it. Oh, so it's literally the comics for Tongan Rampa, okay. Somewhere inside your head, this could be the clincher. There's only one truth. Okay, so the deduction and denouncement is when truth is made clear by thinking through all deductions up until that point. Place the correct piece in corresponding and deduction gap to reveal the truth. Lock pieces can be opened by solving mystery, so keep it up, keep it up, keep it up! Once every gap is filled with peace, the finality reveal all the mystery will be unveiled. Everything has been leading to this moment. Oh shit! I didn't. I wasn't looking at that. Uh, how do I? Where's the train? Ah, but boop. Oh my god! It is hard to navigate the. Oh, there we go. This works. Alright, not the route to express. Thank you. Alright, the coffee. Can't use that yet. Okay. Alright, fire extinguisher. Okay, coffee. Alright, let's go back. Controls can be better during this part. Get that, get that. Red herring, let's go. Where's the culprit hiding? Under the bed. Okay. Almost got it. Train detachment. Haha, -ha, correct, bitch. I want train one. Uh Ouch. Oh, wait, I have the answer over here, goddammit. I, I looked at the wrong picture. There we go. What did the culprit burn? Uh, yep. The number plate. And then what happened after exiting the tunnel? 
attachment to car one. Let's go. There we go. Peacekeepers pursue Yuma. Well, who is the culprit? Zilch. Case closed, baby. Let's go. Mystery unraveled. Ha 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 ha. Now will it automatically play the whole story for us? So I don't have to read it aloud? I hope so. Story time, story time, read by oh, Big Pink Waifu. Let's go. Before their time. And Amaterasu Corporation has master in their sights. Truth bombs are about to be dropped. Time for the deduction denouement. Denouement. The incident unfolded aboard the Amaterasu Express, which was on its way to Kanai War. Jinjo. Oh, damn it, I have to click through this. I rushed onto the train as it was about to depart. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. All because you were fast asleep in the lost and found, Master. If you kept snoozing, the case would never be solved. When the train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and final one was left at the station. And so, the culprit scheme had already begun. The Amaterasu Corporation was involved from the get go. On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. And the culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. Bastard. I bet the culprit who was the first person on the train so they could prepare in advance and wait for everybody else. Probably. I felt unwell and Melanie went to the trouble of pouring me a coffee. But after drinking it, I started to feel drowsy. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill. But it was actually the drug. Ah, oh, yeah. Coffee was the mistake there. Truly was responsible? Sticks and stones were too much to identify, but slander stings! Damn, the <laughs> music's too loud here. The culprit sent me off to car one in order to frame me as the killer. I'm sure the culprit didn't expect you to get sick, Master, but since you look like a super easy target, they probably changed their plan and went after you instead. Big mistake, pal. Once I left, the other Master Detectives must have fallen asleep because of the drugged drinks. Aw. Of course. Of course, fine class wine for a fine class lady. The culprit then burned everyone to death. What a bastard. This was when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. First, they carried Apex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one. Oh, I love the little icons on the side so you can see the, like little chibis. The very first body we found. Then, they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the restroom I was sleeping in. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. Gotta have someone get inside somehow, or else nobody would find the body. Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Aphex's charred corpse. Jumping into bed with a charred corpse! And here I thought chivalry was dead! <laughs> what a gentleman! I'm actually a little jealous. Anyway. The created the red herring. It did. Still have a way to pretend to be dead. Furthermore, Culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. Man, you had to be really perfectly timed that, otherwise you would have been screwed. While you were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. They must have seen me then and timed it. When I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway, car one was beginning to fill with smoke. Oh, that's some precise timing! Yeah, he had to get real fucking lucky, honestly. I got a of in the infirmary with a knife lodged in his chest. 
bet it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything. That was when the culprit took out Apex's burnt corpse, switched faces with it, and waited for me to enter the room while hiding beneath the bed. It's just like a magic trick! Switching places under a veil of smoke! Hmm. Meanwhile, I found the fire extinguisher on the floor. Didn't even second window. guess it. Unlocked the room and went inside. Just like the culprit plan. And that's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. After the smoke cleared, I found Zelch's body burnt to a crisp. At least, that's what I thought. The charred corpse was actually Aphex. The culprit had me completely fooled. Why they picked the time consuming method of roasting someone to death. Mm -hmm. Plus, the body was about the right size. I bolted out of car one after seeing the corpse. The culprit was under the bed at that time. Oh. He had to keep perfectly still and not breathe. They Jesus. probably laughed at you from there, watching everything unfold like the plan. I went on to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. Around that time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. Controlling the train from there, they detached car one. That caused the blackout and shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup system. Mm hmm So the train shook. Oh, was there or was there not to be in the house? Take a guess. Oh, I... there definitely was. While the detached car one was running on a separate track, the culprit went to work, preparing to disguise car one as car five. What about the jiggling? I want to talk about the jiggling. First, Apex's corpse was carried to the corridor, and the necklace removed earlier was placed back on. Then, the car one number plate was burned, so that it couldn't be properly identified. Mm-hmm. Everything in place. The culprit went into the main control room, locked the door, and waited for the train cars to reconnect. Well, this time, the culprit was riding in car one on the other track, right? Yep. Yeah, the train, which was only cars two, three, and four at the time, remained on course. That's such a convenient track. Why would that track even exist for whatever reason? Since we were in a tunnel? I didn't even realize car one was moving alongside us. The train we were on went through the tunnel with only three cars. When it came out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in it attached to car four. Now behind car four, that car became car five. The swap was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system. But well, why would they need that? Is that, unless the rails can go backwards, is that the reason why? In case two trains are going at once. The culprit riding in car one attached it to the back of car four. That caused more shaking, but there was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Additional shaking occurred inside my blouse, but the power stayed on. <laughs> After that, I mistook car one for car five and walked right in. The culprit wrecked it so much, I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. I figured there'd be some kind of brawl. Hmm. But that was part of the culprit's plan, wasn't it? Also, no one would realize it was actually car one. When I found the corpse, I deduced that it was Aphex from the necklace it had on. But I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. The disguised corpse and the car switch completely fooled I mean, it still would've been ballsy if the game decided to kill everyone besides you. Okay, Monokuma the reference. Arrived in I mean, the rest is history. We got attacked. Different, pre-arranged car one. And with that, the dream once again had five cars. Mm -hmm. So 
much attaching and detaching. What a stupid, crazy, elaborate trick! Yo, so silly just to kill four guys. I mean, honestly, it would have made more sense for them to kill my character as well, and then just it'd be done and over with. Especially if no one was going to find out anyway. The peacekeepers were lying in wait at the station. As the sole survivor, I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. And Amaterasu was in on it. That really turns me <laughs> on. Nice. This is me off, right? During that time, the culprit stayed hidden in the main control room of the disguised car one. Mm-hmm. I waited for the peacekeepers to haul you in, Master. They were right there at the scene. The After bastard. All the master detectives, the culprit faked their own death and tried to frame me as the killer. It was a cunning, cold-blooded scheme. And the evildoer who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than you. Alexander, it was you. Oh, I love the whole Ace Attorney point right there. That's awesome. Cute. I love this scene. It also gave off the, the fucking couple go like, we really like your vibe. We spotted you from across the bar. We really like your vibe. This is the truth I've uncovered. What the fuck is that? What, do we literally just change his heart like in Persona 5? Is that, so he's just committed to the truth? Is... Is that it? What's this? It's the truth. It's the soul of the true culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. The soul of the true culprit? Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> now it's time for the main event! Oh my god, it's so long. Here we go! It's my time to shine! Hey, it's been a while since I had a long ass stream like this. Oh. Surging bloodlust. Oh yeah, oh despair. god legs. Mmm. So magical girl extra, I love it. Cute. Yeah, I really gotta turn the music down even more next time. Holy crap. Some voice lines are just not loud at all. Well, we got rid of the furry convention. So I guess that's a step in the right direction for this game. I should have known the animals were a red herring. Swank wears a silver grill engraved where money on his upper inserts. A grill made of gold is on order. Oh, God. Hmm. Uh-huh? We're back? Oh, they're gonna still get me? What are you me? talking about now? Your spirit shouldn't be broken. Yet. The peacekeepers right. will take care of you. And now we the furry boy's gonna come out? I'm in the world. Huh? 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 What was the point of all? Where are you? Nothing here's changed. What's going on? Shinigami? Are you listening? Get him! Uh-oh. Wait, I know who the culprit is. What? Yeah. It's Zilch. He's still alive. He framed me. What are you talking about? He's 
already dead. Huh? But... Shut up! This is not up for discussion! Uh, what a waste of time. Ah, uh, but we can prove it in a court of law. Fair trial. Come on. Shigami, where did you go? This isn't what's supposed to happen. <laughs> right here. Oh, there she is, cutie pie. You're so cute when you panic, so I had to enjoy the view for a bit. Stop playing around. Why hasn't the situation changed at all? He must be hallucinating. <laughs> Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. It's my forte, you son bitch. Take him away. What? He's dead! Looks like it's over. Huh? Huh? What's over? Shinigami, what's going on? There's always a price to pay. When I read the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. Wait, so do we actually kill him? But how do we prove our innocence then? But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. The source... Precious? Don't tell me. Ah. Uh. That's right. The true culprit dies. Then that report saying Silch, the true culprit, was dead. And that solves today's mystery. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. How does that save us? You're now innocent and free to go, master. A happy ending. A roll credits. How? There's nothing happy about this. Zilch died because I solved the mystery, right? Huh? He was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. I mean, I don't think I'm completely free to go. Not even with Zilch being dead. I guess still be framed for this. Say exactly what I'm about to tell you to that gilded idiot over there. Okay. Swank, did you just receive a report that Zilch was dead? How did you know that? I thought so. Ah. If he was alive until moments ago, that changes things about this case. I was waiting in line for one hour at McDonald's where the fries are fresh? Hell yeah, they made fresh fries for you. Let's go. Someone who died in front of our, my eyes, was alive. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really happened. You didn't try to frame an innocent person, did you? But literally, they could silence me. I don't get how we get out of this. What? You think you can weasel your way out of this? I, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You better not forget you're in Kanai Ward now. You're powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation. No, um, I didn't mean... Hey, don't surrender so easily. You were so close. That does it. You're under arrest. Oh, my God. I hate that expression Listen, he's doing. You got no right to remain silent, and you got no right to call a lawyer either. Take him away. So we still get arrested. Oh, That's... Wait. Hold on. Hold on just a second. <gasps> that voice actor. Do you have a minute? You. It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. We Ooh, he looks cool. We orders from the higher up, so let's not do anything that causes unnecessary tension. He's got a chest tattoo. Who's He's hot. Evidence and testimonies is a drag when it comes time to do the paperwork. Oh, he's right? hot. It's tough keeping things consistent. Just forget about all that and leave it to me. Yeah? You know, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. Thank you, sexy man. What? If you let us go, I'll cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. You don't want trouble, right? If the WDO floods this joint because of you. Your punishment might be kind of brutal. So, you know what to do. Leave things well enough alone, as they say. As they say. Let's go. Ah, Man, this would be a great anime to watch, too. 
to an extent. Thank you, sexy man. Oh, thank goodness that worked out. Who is he? Beats me. Mm. I'm sure you have many questions, but fuck off, how about? Wait, can I just leave? No, ask him. Well, I bet that was quite a long trip for you. Welcome to Kanai <laughs> Ward. <laughs> it's your hot Uncle Joe? Goddamn! I don't want him related to me. Thanks. You must be Yuma. Yuma Coco Head, right? Oh, fucking Cuckoo Head. I am. And you are? I'm Yaku Furio. Yaku Furio. Ooh, I like that name. Love the tattoo, man. I was born and raised in Kanai Ward. Just a humble member of the WDO. I'm the director of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. The only detective agency in Kanai Ward. <laughs> the NDA? Oh my god. If you're he, if he's Yako, you're a Wako. <laughs> nice. My office welcomes you. Nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, thanks. The pleasure is all mine. So he's a detective from the WDO. Finally, I've met an ally. He managed to turn away the peacekeepers, so he must be in high standing. Hehe. <laughs> if he's Yako, I'm Wako, and you're Dot. <laughs> Nice. He's clearly just some careless middle-aged man. Oh, by the way, don't tell anyone about yours truly. You might have forgotten, but our secret is included in the contract. It'd be terrible if you broke this rule. To be exact, your whole body would be drained of its blood. Oh, I let you drain me of my blood. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Well, even if you did, they'd just assume you're some crazy person. Now, shall we? Oh, by the way, I like to hear the details about this incident. Uh, right. For a crazy person without blood. Ooh, I'd be like a ketchup packet all squeezed out. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It took a while to get through all the proceedings. They practically interrogated you, right? <laughs> Kanai Ward is completely shut off from the outside world. Communication devices such as cell phones are confiscated. Cameras are not permitted to leave Kanai Ward either. Even if you smuggle something with reception in, Kanai Ward is a dead zone. Thanks to all that tight closure, nobody's using this fancy station at all. Mm. Did you say no one? <laughs> they phased out existence for a second. You show a lot of promise, considering how you handled that Amaterasu trouble. I was scared, to be honest. I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. Uh, the thing is, the peacekeepers always antagonize detectives. As a basic rule, never look them in the eye. They're always itching for a fight. <laughs> kind of like mad dogs. <laughs> mad dog! Right. Amaterasu Corp doesn't want the unified government or the WDO meddling in their matters. I even caught wind of them hiring a hitman. A uh, hitman? Mm. They plan to wipe out any master detectives before they enter Kanai Ward. Which they tried to do. The result of which is this Amaterasu Express Massacre. So Zulch was actually a hitman? Nope. There was a real master detective named Zilch. He was murdered beforehand and used as a disguise. Oh. You were in the first car earlier. The real Zilch is laying dead somewhere in there. Ah, oh, fuck. There was a separate first car at the station before you arrived where Zilch's body was hidden. Then, the four train cars that you rode in would arrive at the station in Kanai Ward and connect with the fake first car. That makes a total of five dead master detectives at Kanai Ward's platform. Well, I guess I could say the game did kill all five of them, so I gotta give it credit. With no master detectives left, you would be arrested as the only culprit. That was the plan. They would go to such lengths? Absolutely. 
Even though the plan didn't work, we still lost five master detectives. God damn it. Given the situation, I'm honestly surprised you survived, Yuma. Not so am I. Thanks to me. You're so lucky to be haunted by yours truly. True. Boy, if there was a real zilch, then the number of people on board the Amaterasu Express, including me, that makes six people. The numbers still don't add up. I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was precisely five. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll explain that later. Anyway, let's leave this place. Wouldn't want to give the peacekeepers any ideas. Hmm. When am I going to have a good spot to save and end the game? Because I am getting hungry. Like, are we going to enter chapter one here soon? Oh, this is pretty. It's raining. It's hey, pouring. Hey. The old man is snoring. The Kanai Ward, huh? It looks pretty, at least. Now we're hitting the big city. So we're going to get a hat soon. Uh, excuse me. They just Naruto run. Who's that guy? Okay, they're not even caring. Beats me. <laughs> wow, some guards. Haha! -ha! Chapter zero ends. Oh god, that was the prologue. Oh good god. Now for the I intro see, music. I see. Oh. Ah man. What's the Cobra's boon kill? Your reward based on how well the master did inside the labyrinth. Hey. Remember all of this? Get a reward for each <laughs> rating between SS through C. Not only do you get a reward for rating you see, but every rating below it, so try shooting for the top. Okay. SS, Judgment S, RDM, SS, Stamina, C. Oh. Well, we got an S ranking. Ah, <laughs> oh, first timer, C Bass. We got a big ass. We got some rank ups, though. We got 7 7 DP. Let's go. Few details. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Save current progress. Yes, please. File two, baby. Okay, is it gonna go into a cutscene? Because I'm now that we saved, I might just end the game. Because we've already been going over six hours, which is about as long as I planned to stream. Oh, we're still in prologue. Okay, WDO versus Amaterasu Corporation. Okay. Alright, let's see if the game just kind of lets me vibe. <gasps> we got the bucket hat! It's so cute! There's a place I want to show you. It's the best spot to learn about this town. Hey, relax. Don't be so nervous. Are you sure? Aw, yeah. We got the hat. We got the hat. Come on, this way. Oh boy. Oh. 
All right, we'll learn more about the city next time. Profiles. Ooh, we didn't actually look at Shinigami. Oh my god. Height 137, is weight 30 kilograms, blood type. Likes Yuma, just likes Boron, Death God. Shinigami's true form. Her personality is no different when she's in spirit form, so she always continues teasing Yuma. She will path to Mystery Lava, which is manifestation of mysteries from the real world. She has many special abilities inside the Mystery Lava and can aid Yuma in solving it. Mystery Lava can be dispelled by reaping the soul of the culprit for whom it was made, resulting in the culprit's death. They were all dead. Poor Melami. And poor Poochie. They were so cute. Swank const oh god. You know to proceed with you must arrest, yeah. Fairline, Sirline State. He just likes fish. What a bitch. <laughs> Talent, speed eating, good god. Alright, so we're gonna save. There we go, file two, let's go. All right, let's head back to the title screen. Yeah, because we're wrapping it up for today, chat. We gotta, we gotta. Oh, man. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, perfect timing, too, because I got a piss like a racehorse. Also, my Joy-Cons were, like, about to die, too. I noticed that my purple one died very late little bit ago-ish. Okay, so... Back to reality. Back to reality. Let's move OBS over here real fast. Uh, let me turn on the desktop audio real quick. And... Yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's say the music stopped for a second. Okay, so, uh, because we weren't for so long, I'm not gonna, uh, linger too much of this just chatting segment. Uh, I think we're just gonna move on and find someone to raid real fast, because we just ended the game. <laughs> Before we go, though, I do want to give extra thank yous to uh, Pose Senpai 91, uh, Iwan Toto 19, and do uh, for the follows the other day. Dog says it's worth a follow today, and a big extra thank you to everyone who came and chat to get. Even though this was kind of a more different kind of game we were playing. Um. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna raid someone playing Final Fantasy Tactics because uh, they seem like a cool person. So slash raid Sunya Fox. Yeah, and you guys know the deal by now. If you have an emote, you just do a little chicken. Or you just do Nuggy raid. If you don't have my emote, you can always always. Uh, buh, buh, buh. You can always use Saucy Heart as well. But, uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, you'll probably see me stream Tuesday, maybe early morning, early afternoon. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, I really got a piece, so I'm just gonna end you guys. I'm gonna end it here. But you guys, have a great rest of your night, and have a good rest of your day. Night. Have a good one, chat. I love you guys so, so much. Mwah, 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 mwah. Thank you so much for being here. Goodbye. Bye.